So this is what it looks like when you take roids into diamond ranks. And I know what you're saying. TGS, you've got two wins here. Well, I'm pretty sure this guy scooped. Yeah, this guy scooped for no reason, uh, even though I was absolutely going to lose the door. Uh, and this person right here, I actually did beat. But I'll, I didn't feel like a win because I'm pretty sure they did so much damage to themselves. Wait, what are they playing? Oh, that this is why... They were playing like a wacky deck. Wait, no, this wasn't. Oh, no, they scooped as well. Sorry, yeah, they scooped and they scooped. Um, that's probably why. But I can show you one win. Uh, but the only reason I got the win was because uh, they pretty much took all their own life points away. So this is what winning with uh, Vehicroids looks like. So uh, get ready. Oh, look, I get to go first. So. The T set standard opening for uh, roids. I I've switched into a second turn deck now, so I'll show you what that's like. Right, so half their life points gone already. They attack into my uh, monster for some reason. I don't know why. And then they summon those two. So I'm like, okay. And then they make a Barkeon. Which I'm like, okay. And then they get that on the field and they set three. I'm like, okay. I mean, my hand's not terrible. So how about we refusion and we bait. Oh, no, no. Yeah, we spin the steam gyro. That's right. Them use the instant contact. They max C. Activate the effect of that. Doesn't work. I've had somebody try to negate that before. I thought it was kind of funny. Mobile base. Very cool. Mobile base's effect. Some of the pair cycroids. Switch the submarine right into attack. Attack directly. Attack directly for game. Wow. What a great deck. All right, time for reality. Roids. When I was a youth, um, I really liked Cyber Dragons. And I used to buy the Cybernetic Revolution packs because I was hoping for that. Like, I think it was the alternate art uh, Cyber Dragon. That might have been the Zane Tuesday ones. I was after the Cyber Dragon stuff. Uh, but I was getting Roid stuff on the side. And I thought, these are kind of cool monsters. I, I like these. They're, they like I like machine monsters. It's cool that they fuse. Fast forward 20 years, I decide for January to play this deck, uh, and I am horrified to discover it is uh, one of the least synergistic decks that have no game plan to go for game. It has almost impossible to summon boss monsters, and the thing I didn't know until I started doing the, the Vehicroid archetype video, I sort of started learning it as we was playing yesterday, where Vehicroid Connection Zone... I was tending to have a lot of Vehicroids in my hand, but it could never seem to summon them. And do you know what the reason that is? Because out of the eight Roid fusion monsters, it can't summon five of them. And out of those three that it can summon, two of them need to be summoned first before you can summon the other one. So basically you get two options for summon. And their materials are Truckroid, Expressroid, Drillroid, Stealthroid. Imagine having all four of those in the hand at the same time. Or Steamroid, Drillroid, and Submarineroid. So it's just... It's just insane. Like, the amount of stuff. It, I, I don't want to go over this all now. I'm doing this all in my, my video. But the problem is with it, it came out in an era where archetypes were starting to be established. But it was before the archetypes had, like... Uh, a theme running through them that made them all work together and do things and that is the problem with the the, the vehicroids it's just a bunch of monsters that do different things and they don't aim towards anything the three newest cards in the archetype uh, i think it's four actually uh dragonroid mixeroid the field spell megaroid city and the field spell that transforms into super vehicleroid mo mobile base they're obviously the better cards in the archetype but even then like this is a decent card it's a shame it doesn't have any protection and it can't go on the offensive unless you have the field spell on the field. Um, but, like, you can summon out anything, but it relies on your opponent having a big monster. Like, if they don't have a big monster, you're making maybe, like, a pair cycroid or a steam gyroid or a ambulance rescue roid. Why? And the latter part of its effects, because it came out in Master Rule 4, is uh, unusable in today's thing. Like, maybe it'll come up in a really, really niche situation. It's just no good. 
Like, I'm never going to hard make these monsters because their requirements are just too high. Barbaroid as well. You need five machine type monsters. I'm not going to get all those cards in my hand. You have to summon it with Future Fusion. Future Fusion is too slow for ranked. There is a card in the manga that summons this. It's basically Overload Fusion, but for roids. And that's how you're supposed to summon it. That doesn't exist in this game, so we can't do that. Megaroid City is actually our only way of searching our archetypal fusion monster. But we have to get the, the normal. We have to get at least one card in the field to do that. It's actually kind of a good card. I don't mind Megaroid City. This one's okay. That one's... That's fine. Dragonroid. So because this archetype is tied to the speedroids, um, the problem with them is that speedroids, when they search, they're like, you can search any speedroid card. And you're like, okay, that's just the speedroids. The roids, because they're not all called vehicroid dragonroid vehicroid submarine roid they're just called like dragonroid mixeroid submarine roid their archetypal name is actually roid which means every single one of their effects now have to specify you contribute one machine monster special summon one non-wind roid monster you must return uh you can discard this card add one non-wind roid monster and that wouldn't be such an issue but why did they make the two new monsters wind dragonroid was wind in the anime just change it to like earth i mean the, the majority of them i guess they're not all that they should have made it just all earth anyway so i don't know it's just it's just wacky there's so there's like so many different levels of annoyance with this archetype that i just don't know what to do so what is the game plan with this deck well the plan is we get out a roid monster uh, sorry a roid fusion monster we have another roid monster in our hand on the field whatever we fuse those two together preferably with vehicle roid connection zone or with power bond to make a uh, super vehicle roid mobile base and then we hope they have a big enough monster we can summon out like super vehicle roid stealth union or like one of the others we just have no way of winning like we can't win with that Okay, so the oh, no, no, wait. The way that we win is we also have Megaroid City on the field. We also summon this monster into attack, and we attack with that into it. Where's Zeus? I should put Zeus in. Screw the Charmer. I have uh, Bagoose could be my best monster. Um, so I'm just trying to put as many draw things in. So draw stuff. Um, this lets me special summon the thingies. So this is probably the most important one. I dropped a few of the other ones. Um, but the only reason I'm playing multiples of like Express Roid, Submarine Roid, Dragon Roid, and Mixer Roid is because the only thing I can actually power bond easily is Pair Psychroid. So I was playing like a bunch of different ones, but I just thought, let's just keep them all the same because maybe I can summon a 3200 attack point Pair Psychroid and maybe attack directly a few times and maybe we can get away with that. Possibly. Maybe we could even do it with uh, Vehicle Roid Connection Zone to pretend like give it protection or something and we're going to try and go second turn because first turn isn't working with this deck because our monster's got no protection uh, and then hopefully we get nibiru and then with a like a nine thousand attack point monster we can use super vehicleroid mobile bases ability to summon this monster chat question i haven't come up to the situation yet so i can learn my lesson um can i target a nibiru token and equip that target to this card or will I not be able to use that effect? Because if that's the case, I'm going to swap these for like a sphere mode or something. Well, you got three wins. They're, they're uh, disconnects. I could take those wins off. Like if if it's uh, somebody just quitting before the duel actually starts, you can equip a token. Okay, then. That's the deck. That's as good as I can make it with my limited deck building knowledge and stuff. But we'll just see how things go. If we get a single... I'm going to take those wins off. A win is a win. Yeah, you can take a token. Okay. All right, we'll keep the free wins then. We're going to carry on with this win-loss ratio. Okay, as much as I want to go first, I'm going to go second. We're going to go second. The problem is, if we go against like a heavy negate deck, what do we do? If we go against um, a branded deck and they can banish my cards, that means my Vehicleroid connection zone, just, it's not going to save me. So, I <laughs> just don't know what to do. This is not going to last a full month, I can tell you already. I mean, you are playing roids. You deserve the wins, to be honest with you. Oh, you mean the the, the ones that quit, yeah. Uh, an Ibiru token is an original attack of zero, as I recall. Okay, we're playing against Math Mech. This is going to go terrible already. Pick up some Dragon Rulers for the future Arm Dragon deck. Oh, maybe it's a bit too soon for that. A bit too soon. 
Vanquish Soul might be your best matchup. Oh, for like destruction. Yeah, I guess so. Next text month's gotta be a banger. Oh my god, is that what a math mech turn looks like nowadays? That's fine. Oh, I needed you earlier, but. So, fun fact, we actually don't have any plays yet, unless we can top deck. Um, one of our extra deck fusion spells. So we need ready fusion or instant contact. That was actually really good that I started with this one because we didn't actually need the fusion deployment. So activate chicken game. Uh, maybe we can thin the deck first. Yeah. Let's start with the Mixeroid. Oh, it's such a shame, though. Like, what if I top deck the field spell? All right, we'll we'll risk the we'll risk the draw because if you get the field spell, I can actually kill his monster. <sighs> no! <laughs> uh, oh no, we special summon. Okay, we can do something for that. Tribute Mixeroid. No, we can't do anything with that. <laughs> oh, no, wait, we can, we can, we can. Um, I, uh, uh, come on out. Uh, submarine Roid. I can use polymerization. Ah. I can't make mobile base. Um. Do I do I do I power bond? Oh screw it, go on. I gotta be careful with uh, my field spell as well. I can I get one attack out? We don't have enough monsters. I can't make all of this. The bike, yeah, bike's the only thing I can make. This is why I put so many of the same copies of the same monsters in. Okay, let's not attack directly for this one. Let's just kill this. Right, I've got one card. We've got a Nibiru. If we get any other um, fusion, to be fair, we put all that was actually kind of good. We put our life points lower again, so surely they won't have one of their eleven copies of Circular next turn. Impossible. For some reason, I thought uh, it was going to be safe. I don't know why I thought that. All right, so now we need to remake another fusion monster, and have another fusion material in hand. Zane would be disappointed. No, we can take a bit of damage from Power Bond. We just can't lose because of Power Bond. Well, at least, at least we're doing some damage. Ha! <laughs> uh. ha! Wait, we got Nibiru. We got Nibiru. We're fine. We're fine. What could go wrong? Five summons. We just need to watch out for... Maybe we wait... Oh, what's he going to make, though? Oh, that's it. I thought... Um... I thought that's the one that, like, did all the plays. Oh, their Sigma was already gone. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Did he do any damage, then? Yeah, he did. It's top deck. Um, ready fusion. Am I going to really set Mixer Road defense? Um, I could make Pair Psychroid again, but it would have its original attack and defense. That might be my option. Add Express Roid, normal summon Express Roid. Add the two submarine roids back to the hand. And then we might be able to we might have enough materials for the mixeroid in the graveyard to do something. Let's find out. Express Roid. One, two. <laughs> no! Uh. So 
Screw it. Mixeroid. Five cards. Ban it. Oh, God. They only last the end. No, wait. This is fine. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> I forgot. Pessicroid. Um, is it worth going for mobile base here? It's, 60, it's 1,600 attack. I can actually, I can definitely kill it. Hold on. Chat, hold on. Uh, what can I make? I can make something with less than 1,500 attack. What can I summon? Can't summon that. Can't summon that. I can't summon anything. Right, so what we're going to do is attack into that. Deal 400 damage. Main phase two. Okay, at least we're immune to access code talker. Oh, I could have summoned a second copy of mobile base. It's fine, though. End phase. Okay. That's fine. He's not going to read anything. We've established that. This guy definitely doesn't read. If he manages to get access code Torku and try to pop a monster, we all laugh at him. This could be my first legit on-screen win. This could be it. Against Math Mech as well. Math Mech that didn't get a single uh, extra deck monster. Oh, no, he got one extra deck monster. He got one extra deck monster. I'm a liar. He got a, he got a Code Talker out. Just don't say which one it was. Yes! I'm calling it the first official win. With Vehicroids was against Math Mech. We got our boss monster out. We got two copies of Pear Psychroid. Let's add that win. You'll love to see it. You know what? Maybe this is a full full month deck. Look at that. That's technically a win streak that was. That was one win. Not even close. Yeah, Necroid Shaman does count as a roid. Uh, we have got a card in our deck called... I think it's called Miracle Contact. And then when we activate that, we can summon Necroid Shaman out. And it's one of our uh, materials. You know what? Best deck, yeah. We should really end stream there, shouldn't we? That's how we uh, we keep things good. This going second a lot, though. It's really... Uh... Okay, Nibiru is fine. Uh... Magician's Soul, summon to the field. Chicken game, draw one card. Soul's effect, send to grave. Megaroid City, send souls to grave. Question mark profit. I don't think we can do much with that. How is that a roid? Which one? Magician's soul or Nibiru? What killed the Vikroids? Nibiru. Does this deck have a way to make Guardian Chimera? Uh, not with the fusion cards that I have. I'd have to add uh, a regular polymerization, probably. What's the materials for Guardian Chimera? Is it just... Yeah, what is the materials? I actually don't know. Nibiru the Primal Roid? Yeah. And Mag Magician's Soul is a reference to uh, that phrase, Ghost in the Machine. So that's why we play Soul. So it's okay. It's in it's in uh, archetype. Makes sense thematically. And they still have a normal summon. Uh, none of these are quick effects, are they? Actually, one of them is. No, during your opponent's turn. Yes! Who legit wins? Look at them. Oh my god. We're crawling back. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I delete the wins. Megaroid Nibiru. Best monster. Literally getting us wins. Look at that. We're going up in the world. I'm telling you right now. So one, one roid card. Got frightened. I'm so proud. <laughs> We're going up in the world. 
I was here. <laughs> Five to twelve win last record. Technically, it's two to twelve because uh, three of the wins were people like quitting before the duels actually be began. Those two really counted though. Like, the duel was uh, happening. Interesting. Um, see what their turns like. Special summon speedroid Terrata. Oh god, this is gonna be tough. Special Summon Speed Roid Terror Top. Add the. Uh, switch their monster to Defense Roid. Activate Chicken Game, see what we get. Activate Second Chicken Game, see what we get. Normal Summon Mixer Roid. Use, no, I'll probably use Mixer Roid's effect. No, because I need a Roid. I've got the Fusion Roid. Fusion Roid is ready. We have it. Where's Air Neos on there? I can't see him. Okay, we've took the lead. Only 7,000 more damage to do. As it feels, Sam. We'll have to get some wins, some Ws. I feel like Cyrus. All those wins he used to get in the anime. Like when he dueled against Jaden. Oh, maybe not. Or when he dueled against Tyrone and Hasbury. Oh, maybe not. Did he duel? Did he win against Tyrone and Hasbury? I can't remember. Probably when he... How about when he dueled against Zane? Oh, no, he didn't win against Zane. He beat Dimitri. He beat off-screen character number one. You know, uh, he dueled against Jesse Anderson in the manga and he got out Barbaroid and I forgot what Jesse beat it with, but he clapped it and then he beat um, Cyrus. Cyrus did beat Tyrannabat Hasselbury. Oh, he did? Okay. No, he, he beat Dimitri. He beat the copycat duelist while he was copycatting um, Crowler, I think it was. Beat the Jinzo duelist. Oh, yeah, he beat Makoto. That's true. That's true. He beat Makoto. I mean, he had, he had the Cyber Dragons in his deck. And let's be fair, it was the Cyber Dragons that won. Well, it was actually the Cyber Dark Dragon that won. But, I mean, I'm not... Pulling hairs or anything like that. Tyran Tyranno let him win. Is that true? Did Ty Tyranno Hasabri let him win for like a friendship thing? It was to prove... Uh, they dueled because they wanted to prove who was Jaden's best friend, right? There was a tag duel when he was teamed up with Hasabri. Oh yeah, I forgot who they dueled um, in the tag duel tournament. He did let him win. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't think I realized what I got into. This is like buying a house before you've seen within the walls and you realize, oh my god, I've made a huge mistake. Is that guy's machine sister? Excuse me? Surely opponent sees Terra Top and decides to not deal with whatever degenerate deck they think you have. Yeah. Uh, how much negate we got on the board? Regulus. Okay. I, I played a bit of Therion in the deck, by the way. Um, I tried it out. I put in a Regulus. The L Lily Bell. What's it called? The Lily. The Field Spell. Uh, and I did put one of the, the spell card that sends uh, a Therion onto the graveyard, but I took it out after a while. It was fine. It was a nice monster to have, um, but ultimately I ended up taking it out because as good as it was, it didn't push the game with the roids, which we're trying to do. You know how it is? How is it going? It's going okay, we Todd. Not amazing. but we didn't, Well, we had two wins today. It's going well. How are you, by the way? I hope you're well. I think you should put uh, Taka Tomberg into the deck and a rank three to help make Zeus. It's not a bad chat. It's probably my best chance. The only problem is um, there's quite a lot of cards that ruin my day in this deck. Um, I've got a lot of the fusion deployments, which restrict me to fusion monsters. This card right here, for some insane reason, it is this one, isn't it? No, it's the field. I think it's the field spell. Uh, 
the field spell, if I use its effect to add a roid card, I can only summon roid monsters. Uh, and it's not even for the rest of this duel. It's that entire turn. If I um, summon something else, I can't use that effect. Yeah, Megasroid City restricts the fu uh, roid fusion specifically. I've got a deck list, but you can consider more cards like Dark Will No More or Evenly. I mean, Evenly is not a bad shout. I'm currently playing two Nibirus because... Nibiru, if I can pull it off, would help the deck because then I'd give them like, say, say I give them a 5,000 attack point Nibiru token. If I manage to do my play that I want to do and I summon out my boss monster, Super Vehicleroid Mobile Base, uh, I can use its effect, target one monster from the field, and then I can summon any monster I want from my deck with less attack than the monster I targeted. So I'll summon out my Super Vehicleroid Stealth Union. And then I use Stealth Union's ability to target one face-up non-machine monster on the field and equip it to this card. So that gets rid of the Nibiru token. Uh, and then I can attack all monsters my opponent controls. The only sucky thing about this is its attack is cut in half. So stupid. It's an 1800 attack point monster. Why? Why did they give that ability? I Like, it needs four monsters to be summoned. Why make it? So if this card attacks, its original attack is half. Why do that to it? Why? Like, this would have been a good card. Target a monster on the opponent's field, get it off the field. That's great. And equip it to this card. And I can destroy the equipped card to get my field spells effects. I can attack all monsters my opponent controls. Great. Uh, I can inflict piercing battle damage as well. Fantastic. All your attacks are half. I wonder if I, you know, if I use uh, the field spell, Megaroid City, to swap its attack and defense, what would happen with the attack thing then? No. Wait, what am I locked into? Oh. Plants! Ugh. God, I hate this. Megaroid has to banish eight other roids in the graveyard to summon Stealth Union. It's. And it only stays for one turn. I thought it was like a permanent summon. It's not. <laughs> ah, I have it all. I can make my moss. Wait, how much this has got? 1800? I can't deal with it. You can only normal summon and then we'll just bounce back whatever you normal summon anyway. Well, that was a turn. Any successful wins today? Two! We had two successful wins. We played a Math Mech player that wasn't very good, and we beat them. And we played um, a... Oh, what was the second deck? A Punk deck that crumbled under our Nibiru Roid. Why can't you special summon Terra Top? So, um... Rika, what's what's the full name of this deck? Rika, it's like plant. I'm just gonna call it a plant deck. They've got a proper name. Uh, they can summon this monster called Cactus Bouncer. It cannot be special summoned, so it has to be normal summoned. While another plant monster is on the field, neither player can special summon monsters. Oh, okay, we can't special summon at all. Rika Sun Avalon, thank you. I forgot that what it was called then. Oh wait, they they can't kill me. My life points are lower. Bakaru. So he has to get rid of that cactus if he wants to do any damage. No, he doesn't. He has to just destroy this with its effect that he could have won. <laughs> he didn't read. He didn't read. We still lost. You added some speed roids? Just two. Just a uh, terror top and the one that lets you swap all monsters into defense. Uh, I don't have any more. Oh, no, no. No, I don't have it in the deck anymore. Steam Gyroid. Sorry, Steamroid was my only way of outing Cactus Bouncer. If you use the field spell to swap the attack and defense of Stealth Unit, its attack will be 3,000. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need two board breakers to get over this. 
Oh, no. We're fine. We just keep attacking with submarine roids. Beautiful. <laughs> it's such a good hand. I can't use it. I could have made a mobile base with uh, power bond. Double zero attack. So strong. Right, let's see what this guy thinks about this. He's probably going to tribute it, but... Zonte, you, you're not ready to use it. Now we're... um. We're season four plus Cyrus. Season five, if you will. Is he not going to let me attack with 800 damage? Are you, are you serious? 800? Can he keep doing that? During the main phase, quick effect. You can target one effect monster, you put a controls, take damage equal to its attack. And if you did, take damage, pretend that's monster hand. It was 800 damage! Did he take more? He just he took the damage he would have taken anyway. <laughs> I guess my monster didn't go to the defense, though. That's something. Hey. I don't know what to do. Um, I think we just have to accept that when a a random floodgate monster comes on the field, we just have to just deal with that. It's just like, it's it's an issue. We can't physically deal with it in the deck without putting more stuff in. But I can't afford to put more stuff in, so... I don't know. Well, we had to lose our streak at some point. We can't keep on winning with this deck, so... That's fine. Make a 60 card version. I'm, if I if if we can daydream for just a bit a minute, if we can live in like cuckoo land, I'd put in three future fusions. That'd be so nice. I'd put in Rugeki, Lightning Storm, maybe a Krakara. Ah, oh, it'd be so nice. And some sphere modes, maybe some lava golems, and then I could just go second, and then it's their turn. Oh, you just noticed the bike? Bing, bing. Yeah. The bikeroid. The pear cycroid. Oh, Foolish Burial still... I thought Foolish was legal for some reason. My bad. Maybe some Mekanko cards. Can't Kurokaro and Cactus and a Planter on the field? Oh, that's true. That wouldn't have helped me then. You'll win more than Simo does in the Masochist Challenge. I think we might try that Masochist Challenge eventually. Give me a little while. We can't just play two absolute stinkers of a deck in a row. I think it's a bit too much. Has this deck made any progress in ranked? No. Uh, the best we've done is literally just 10 minutes ago with two wins in a row. That's it. Put in Magic Cylinder also for that 60 card deck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put in... Um, is it Magic Cylinders? The one that lets you um, double the attack damage of Cylinder. It's a fun challenge, but you need to make a new account to do it properly. Oh, I guess that makes sense, actually. Yeah. Jurageki would do it. One, two, regulars. I'd have to just pray they're in my hand at the same time. And I have a follow-up play. My main deck monsters should be doing this work. They should be, uh... I don't know. Arc of the Sea, catch you later. Thank you for stopping by the stream. About 13, better than yesterday. That is yesterday's score still as well. I'm in counting off stream records 65 wins 146 losses waft that's uh like a 0.4 win loss ratio isn't it 
If I was getting those kind of numbers in uh, Call of Duty Modern, the old Modern Warfare's, I'd have been very upset. Was it not, not 110? No, I think we ended yesterday. Uh, sorry, the whatever the last stream was. 312. 31% win rate. Woft. Poor form. Um, annoyingly, um, Drago, not Drago Stapalia, Mirror Jade outs my boss monsters, even if I summon them with the Akori Connection Zone. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Thirty-one percent of the time, it wins every time. If it's better than a thirty-one percent win rate, this deck is a success. That's bad, though. Like, if this deck doesn't do better than that, that means smashing a random assortment of cards together is better than playing whatever you need to play in a Roid deck. Just upsetting. Roids currently have a 38% win rate till now. Okay. Interesting. Well, that makes sense since the uh, the fusion spell can only summon 26% uh, 20, of the fusion cards or something. Can summon three out of the five. Uh, three out of the eight. It's a lot of defense. Whoa. Bloob underscore owls. Thank you very much for the sub with the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the stream team. Nice to have you here. Enjoy the emotes, the loyalty badge, the fact you don't have to watch any adverts. Ahoy hoy. What are we expecting to be released in a few days of Mass Duel? Uh, it's the Gold Rush card, isn't it? I think I watched a little bit of it. Where's Brandroid Fusion Konami, literally? This card this deck needs, yeah. Ranroid Fusion. Special summon one roid type vehicroid type monster. This is after it's been errated, of course. From your deck. By sending the materials to the graveyard. You cannot summon other monsters this turn except for <laughs> the roids. It's my Cyber Dragon. Um. We'll risk a chicken game then. So the issue is this. I can make the boss monster, I'm pretty sure, as long as things go well. Hmm. Maybe I need to bait first. I just need to be a... You should do one master, like, bait kind of thing. And then we might be all right. So we revealed that. We're getting, we're getting frightened, all right? We put this express rod in the field. Now he's thinking, what's happening? Sorry, what am I playing? Checks, master dual meta, top decks. What is this a part of? And now he's confused. Okay, this is the problem. So now I'm gonna set this face down. Activate this. I think if he Do you think he'll interrupt me? I'm also locked into fusions. <laughs> I, I knew he, he actually I didn't know he had that he had this face up people can be nasty can't they like this poor roid player just wants to play his little oh this probably still won't work with it why didn't you just go for the field spell am I that much of a non-threat you can get away with that So 
Special summon one Roid Fusion monster from your extra deck, ignoring some conditions. Then add one non-wind Roid monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And if you do that, you can fusion summon one Fusion monster using monster you control in your hand and or deck. If summoning a Roid Fusion monster this way, you can also banish Roid monsters from your graveyard. I mean, help. <laughs> Um, I guess I need to keep my life points higher. Maybe they... Oh, no, no, wait. That's... Uh, Mixeroid, I think, is my only hope now. <laughs> the bike looks like it's lying dead. Yeah, it's kind of like an optical illusion, isn't it? It looks like it's lying down. But you can also see it's standing up. We've lost this. We're finished, Sam. It is It is over. This deck crumbles upon the slightest pushback. Jay Stark, thank you very much for the 14 months, by the way. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for the 14 months. Nah, there's no Maxi in this build. I mean, we're going second. We could probably just throw three in for the sake of it now. And then at least we might be able to, like, overdraw. I might put them in. This deck could definitely compete in 2008. Yeah. Yeah. You tried to master bait... But now you've finished. <laughs> oh, it's so lost. It's still my turn. First TGS stream. Oh, attack. You've come at the worst possible time. No. Mercy. Played. All right, we're nearly at a 25% uh, WL win-loss ratio. It's okay. Close game. It was close. It was close. Yeah, let's put Maxi in just for the... Uh, just so it can get rid of. Road to 69 losses. I'm on the road to 69 losses. There's no mercy when you play this game. At least he didn't BM. No, he didn't. That was, uh, it was good form from the opponent. God, I want to go first. But what am I going to do? Put a mobile base on the field with no protection apart from destruction? I guess we just hope they don't read my cards. And then they do their plays. And they make a monster. And then they're like, oh no, I can't deal with it. Plus Nibiru is a good top deck. I think it might just be worth scrapping this deck. Uh, you are absolutely right. But I spent 7,000 gems on this deck. I spent God knows how many uh, ultra rare crafting materials to make absolute trash. What did I craft again? The field spell? No, that's super rare. I made this thing. I made this thing. That's it. Something in the main deck I made. I can't remember what it was, though. Oh, um, Dragonroid. And Ready Fusion. And Limited Removal, which isn't even in the deck anymore. But I like Limited Removal, so it's fine. It's fine. Two, I spent 200 UR on this. <laughs> Imagine this deck would lose to a GOAT format Edison deck format. It probably would. As you know, they probably rely a lot on um, destruction abilities, and that's the one thing we can protect ourselves with someti sometimes. Just play the good roids instead. And which one are those? Which are the good roids? Mixeroid, we have free. Dragonroid, we have free. Uh, Expressroid, we have free. And the closest one to another good one that I decided on. Oh, the speedroids! <laughs> that's probably what's going to end up happening. We'll probably transition into a, a speedroid deck. 
They also benefit from limiter. Yeah, we can throw some limiter removals in them. It'll be fine. We're fine. Positivity. If we're positive, then the deck will feel our positivity and will also do well, I'm sure. Even though no winning combination has come together in all these duels, I'm sure if we keep trudging along, it'll happen eventually. I'm going to stream GTA 6. Uh, it depends. When does it come out again? It comes out next year, doesn't it? Maybe. Maybe I would. See how uh, set up we get. Let him get his uh, Mirror Jade out. You never see... Um... Oh. They don't have a negate in their deck, do they? Do they? Lul Lulu Waif and the, the White Dragon. I actually don't know their effects very well. I don't think they do. Mirror Jade. The Spatter could stop Nib. That's, um, that's a Synchro, isn't it? Are you Synchro or fus Fusing? Using. I can search them a courier. It's fine. Yeah, I saw that puppet. I do see it, but that that will happen during my turn, won't it? It's fine. So yeah, he won't get the puppet out until my turn, but if I Nibiru, then we're fine. Yeah, puppet's in the grave. Oh. That's, uh... Okay, that's me done. I've had enough of that now. Nibiru Royd, come to the field. Yes. Nibiru Royd, doing a lot of work in our Royd deck, to be honest with you. Great card. And I've given them a big token. But, I mean, if I can get out my boss monster, that could be good. Scariest delay. Why? <laughs> Just in case. Woohoo! Pretty lucky the opponent didn't have a career in the hand. Uh, they did do. They did something with it at the start of the duel. They was that this duel? Oh no! I'm thinking another duel. Yeah, we were lucky. Uh, what just got put face down? Brandy punishment. Fusion one of late or fusion. Of... This is the one. Is this the one that summons? I have a field. I've got a light monster now. Oh, Menko will keep you safe. Would have kept me safe. Oh, uh, it's coming. Oh, Masquerade? No, is it now? Ah, oh. oh. I can't be dealing with this. We're fine. As long as they don't get it, like anything but negate or anything, I can live with this. They should have banned Puppet. I don't know why they didn't. Could have just got rid of that fur. Oh, that only works on roids. Oh! Oh! Yes! I can get rid of it! <laughs> We're fine. I mean, it's not going to help me in any way, shape, or form because I've still got to deal with this and this and this, but still. Ahoy, hoy. 
No, Sam, it lingers. <laughs> Why would they make a card like that? It doesn't make any sense. It's like the, the Breaking Bad meme, the, the no jack, no. Get to the vehicle reconnection zone. I mean, nothing else is going to help me here. Yeah, I'm just going to hope that they don't get any negates. I could make um, Pair Psychroid here with 3200 attack, but... I'll do. Sanctifier is the problem. Mm. I would leave. Why? I've got power bond and vehicle roy connection zone. I could make um Ha ha. He thinks he's got game. Uh oh. I was attacked directly. My speedroid Menko's effect kicks in. Just to let you know. Does my... Do they work with the Megaroid City? They probably do, don't they? Yeah. Roid. So this is a 2000 attack monster now. Hogaru. This is probably the best roid I've got in the deck. This is a really good, uh, good roid monster. Uh oh. Oh, close. Oh no, it cost me more life points. Um, have I got a mixer roid? It's in my hand. God, it's a submarine roid. Whoops, sorry, sorry, Mr. Microphone. I'm sorry. Oh, they can't puppet lock me now? They could have done it again? To be fair, I would have sent it away again. That would have been... Oh, no, it lingers. Oh, my field spell. Oh, they've, they've made space. This is stupid. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they'll make another brand. Maybe they'll make a mirror jade. There we go. Maybe they won't put it in the extra monster zone. And I realize why Sanctifier is uh, broken. This is the problem. When you make cards that can summon stuff to your opponent's field, like, people always find a way to abuse it with floodgates. Yeah. Oh. Oh, to be fair, he's got a really full zone. Seems a waste to puppet like a Roid player. What do you mean? I think we're going to go out on a bang. I think I'm going to do, um, if if they'll let me. Um, a Zane Truesdale. Powerbond myself. And go out on Powerbond's damage. I'd rather die like that. I would like to die on the sword kind of thing. <laughs> My own sword. Though, I think it'd also be funny to vehicle roid connection zone attack. They don't read it, and then they use Branded Beast's effect. They probably would Mirror Jade, though. Okay, now they've got space again. Alright, Sanctifier's gonna use the effect now. Lock me out the door. Again. Pfft. 
I've just realized two of the duels I've played today have got some sort of floodgate against me. We, we played the cactus dude, the ca cactus bouncer, and now we've got this. This is how villains come to the world. They literally... Oh, you can only tribute a machine monster. I fucking get rid of... Oh, it is a machine! <laughs> It'll work! I'm still under the floodgate, but still. Behold! Wait, you can- oh no, it's effect special summons a monster though. Oh. I'm gonna add the loss. <laughs> Bye, Mixeroid. Bye, Gimmick Puppet. <laughs> I hope he doesn't switch his monster's attack. No BM, I can't fault the guy. He played a super toxic monster, but still. Uh oh. Uh oh. BM hesitation. Is he just checking the grave to make sure? Tiny bit of BM. S small. Oh, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No BM. No BM. Attack with one of his weaker monsters, though. Okay. That's fine. That was fine. Alright. 15 L's. Maybe we're just not drawing the right cards. I mean, if, if we keep playing with it, I'm sure we'll get a win. He's trying to win like all of us. It's true. We're all trying to win. The tools are there. You got to play what you got to play. I can still be a little bit salty about it. Though. Just a little tiny bit. Oh, God. Um, part of my mind then thought that if I got one more roid, I could have... Uh, could have made a barbaroid but barbaroid can't be summoned with vehicle roid connections and i would have needed a power bond that nah, i didn't need right now i'm tempted to just not even use this effect um maybe he's got an ash blossom Oh, yeah. I can't. I forgot. I forgot I can't use Vehicleroid Connection Zone to summon Psychroid then. I was like, why, why can't I summon Psychroid? Am I under something? <laughs> it's so stupid. Barbaroid is not a Vehicleroid. Nope. It's a Roid, not a Vehicleroid. Psychroid? Sorry, Pair Psychroid? It's not a Vehicleroid. It's a, a, a Roid. Gyroid? Steam Gyroid? It's not a, it's not a Vehicleroid. It's a Roid. Good design. So Sam, a few months ago, I asked if you'd do a video on the Maju Gazette archetype, which has like four to five cards. You said you'd make that video. So what happened to it? I probably never, never got around to doing it. Very sorry. About a few. So, sometimes I do plan on making like most videos, like getting them to get them done. But it's just trying to fit them in. Like I make uh, an archetype video like once every three weeks, I think it is now. It's just trying to get them uh, get them done in time. Did you see the new Twitch update? Uh, no. The only one I know about is the like. 
um popped up streams and stuff you have to like broadcast them or something you have to say they're going into that category that's like all i know so does that still make you seen you'll make a Marja gazette video so I'll, I'll be a bit more honest then this time um i will make a video of it eventually when that is though i can't give it guarantee on it or anything like that um so i'm not too sure when it'll happen but hopefully it will get one soon I mean, the plan is to do everything, so hopefully someday. Yeah, speed roys are better than roys, that's true. No uh, of the excuses. Right, um... There's a chance, but I think that Fenrir is going to ruin my day. Oh, no, wait, I can't do it. Um. <laughs> it won't work. Um. This is really annoying. Um, I need like a, a loose spell or trap to use Megaroids. I need to do two. Oh no, it won't work anyway. <laughs> no, I can't do anything. Actually, wait, maybe I can get five materials in the grave. Yeah. Okay, we've lost. Why, why would you even. Like, what's the issue? Why would you Fenrir it? It's doing nothing. It's not hurting any. Oh. You want to banish this free from the graveyard? That's the spell. Okay, so as long as I don't use the spell, I don't lose my graveyard. Okay. So. I need to get five roids in the graveyard somehow. Have I normal summon? I have. No, we needed that. We needed to tribute the submarine roid, send that to the graveyard. Um, yeah. Is Barbaroid a one of? I've got one Barbaroid in the deck, but I'll never summon it. I need I would need to have five roids in my hand and field and power bond. That's the only way I can make it. Uh, that's a loss. Do we run reasoning? We we could run reasoning actually, now I think about it. Oh. I mean the issue the issue isn't getting the roids in the hand, it's having a fusion monster on the field. So bad. Maybe your suffering will inspire Konami to make new sub roid support. So at what point do we switch deck? Um, as soon as I've had enough. As soon as I've realized that I've extinguished everything. No YouTube video this week? Uh, no YouTube video this week and last week. I was on me holidays. There's, there'll be a video there Monday though. We're back Monday. How many bits did someone play to play Veacroids? None. I made a conscious decision to play this deck. And I don't know what to do. It's just not working. Are the appliances? The appliances seem cool though. I saw someone use the fusion pendulum dragon to copy a roid name and use it to fusion summon mobile base. Okay, that sounds interesting. How much drinks revolved? I think I was having drinky poos. That might have been true. It was New Year's. I think it was. Actually, I don't know. Actually, maybe I wasn't. No, it wasn't. I, there was no drinky poos involved. 
That's a lie. I was sober. Let's give it the, just three more duels. And then we'll completely revamp the deck in some way, shape, or form. I saw someone mixing Machina and Roid on Reddit. So you could give that a try. Okay, Machina Roid. I mean, there's op we have options. We have like Therion Roid, Machina Roid, Cyber Dragon Roid, Cyber Dark Dragon Roid, Speed Roid, Roid. Any clues to the video? It's this. It's um, Vehicroids. Vehicroid archetype video where I basically um, uh, I'm not very nice to them for a while. Why am I going first? <laughs> how about how about no? I actually had a going second play. I was going to special summon Express Roid from the deck. Power Bond. This might be game. Gear frame with Uncle Spare. Easy gear gigant. I like Machina. I guess Machina would kind of work because you could use the uh, the roids as um, the materials for like Machina gear. Not Ma Is it Machina gear? No, Machina. Fortress. Why nobody plays roids? Yeah. Are there enough wins for a Jinzo style video? There isn't. Um, I have two, two wins, I think, in total. I think I need a couple more. <laughs> this is game, isn't it? Three, four, five, six. Six thousand eight hundred. Oh no. What do you mean? Jinza wins all of those? Of course, yeah. Let's keep the dream alive. Looking forward for January ban list. I am actually. Um, I'm looking forward to most. Probably Magical Dragon. I'm going to zero. I know people like Magical Dragon when they play it, but it's just not very nice to play against. So I'm kind of happy that's going. Um, all the floodgates going down to one is nice. Uh, there's still some more that I think would be nice to like got rid of or go down to one, but it's good stuff. That's another loss. Um, there were a couple other things. I can't remember what it was. I liked the... But I'm looking forward to the ban list. All right, two more duels with this, and then we uh, we walk away from it. I think we uh, well, no, we don't walk away from the deck yet. It's too soon. Dragon Ruler. Second. Cash is now nuked. Yeah. I'm kind of glad their continuous spell went to one. Like that recursion from that is way insane. So the, the spell going to one, I know people, it was like a weird thing for him to hit, but I was kind of all right with it. And Fenrir going to one, it had to be done. Like everybody's playing it. Like I could put it in this deck. It would probably make the deck infinitely better. Chicken game and souls together is a good thing. Having a ready, ready fusion is good. The problem is we now need a power bond or a Vicroid connection zone. Oh. Is that it? Nope. Oh. This is going to be like a Dragon Ra uh, negated stuff. Cash got hit like that because people have used it too much. That's what happens, though. It's always the exploitable cards. Randy's going to get it too if the puppet lock doesn't stop. Just a matter of time. Is an FTK? Oh. No. Where's my kite roid? Keep me safe. How many in extra deck? 
Oh, three. Yeah. Maybe they'll get it wrong. Maybe the AI just doesn't have the, the wing cut. Yeah. <sighs> They've won. Amgandhi95. Yo, love your YouTube channel. First time I catch you live. Welcome to the stream. You've come at the worst possible time. I'm playing one of the worst archetypes uh, currently in the game. They need a lot of help. Oh my god, I'm still alive. No, I'm not dead. They do destruct potion, don't they, or something? Is it destruct potion? I thought they had to have like another monster on the field or something. Gain life points equal to its attack. Oh wait, they like overlay it or something. There we go. And then they make something that like redirects any life points gained is inflicted to the opponent or something. That's it. Manipulator of souls. When you gain life points, you can make this card gain an equal amount of attack and inflict that much damage to your opponent. This guy's still face up on the field. This way you pray for the imperm. Cool. If we played imperm, we might have been alright. Uh, if we played Nibiru, we might have been alright, actually. I've just got away with that. But we don't. We don't have space. Not in this build. Opinion on Branded. Branded's cool. Um, as an archetype, as in like love the lore, love the luck love some of the monsters uh, Brand of Fusion is a bit much but it's at 1 now so it's kind of fine um, yeah, they're good the only thing I don't like is that gimmick puppet thing that we lost to earlier then being able to summon a floodgate to my side of the field it's not fun got here. I need the field spell. I can't do anything. I'm doing dry January. I haven't drank so far in January as well, to be fair. I'm four days in. We're getting some rescue aid support. I think that's coming soon. I think that's on the horizon. What's better, branded or math mech? Um, branded have a really good long game. But it depends who goes first. If Mac, math mech goes first, I think there's very little you can do to sort of deal with them. Uh, if they do that full, like, math mech play, rip cards from your hand, field, spell and trap zone, and then they've got the... That, the firewall, the decode or the firewall monster, the dark fluid thing. Terra hurts. And then like that's sending stuff from the extra deck to negate all your abilities and things. So I'd probably say math mech if they go first. But I think branded probably could interrupt them enough. Yeah. Brand is better under Maxi. Yeah, they don't summon too much. I guess under Nibiru as well. Most likely to get nibbed. Speak of the devil. <laughs> See, I would really like to play... Um, the Roid Counter Trap. Because it seems really cool. Like, you activate it, you can negate the activation and the effect of a monster spell or trap. Send all copies of it to the graveyard or something, I think it does. And then it has a graveyard ability. The problem with it is you have to have a Roid Fusion Monster on the field, which is very rare in this Roid deck. But it would be a good spell, uh, trap.
Brandy can play bestials that can stop super factorial. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. That's a good point. Isn't a roid fusion what you're supposed to be making every duel? I am. But <laughs> I'm struggling. You know what they need? They need a material. Mixer roid needs to be able to summon like a, a level two roid from the extra deck or something. Or a level three. Like, th the fact that the lowest one I can summon is level 5. I have to have 5 monsters in there. I need more. Why did you choose to torture yourself this way? To be fair, at least it's out the way then. At least now, I've I've got rid of roids. They're done. And then in the future, when people say, Oh, uh, why didn't you play a roid deck? I really like roids. I can go, uh, no. Well, you see, I played them January 2024. Uh, and it was miserable. It was awful. I didn't win a single duel. Like, out of those five wins I have, they don't feel like real wins. I don't feel like I outsmarted my opponents. I made my ultimate boss monster and profited. The only duel where I feel like the deck really shined, and it was me as a duelist that let everybody down, was when we played against um, that Gate Guardian deck. And I had... Um, the Megaroid City monster on the field. They had the ultimate Gate Guardian monster. And I should have used my monster's effect to target their boss monster uh, to summon a big monster to my side of the field. The reason I didn't do it was because I knew what Gate Guardian's combined effect was, but I had forgotten that Vehicleroid Connection Zone stops my opponent from negating my monster's effects. So had I done that, that would have been an amazing win. That would have been a really good duel. But I blew it! That's my fault. Deck needs more extenders and searchers. Is everything. What rank am I? I'm the bottom of diamond. Diamond five. That's where I started this run, uh, this month. Uh, Pujin23, thank you for the H2O. Thank you for keeping me hydrated. Exorcist though. I feel like I've played against a lot of Exorcista when they were like really heavily in the meta. I think Exorcist, when was Exorcista really popular? It was when the runic, the runic decks were being played, I think. Was it, I remember there was uh, like really common to see them. Surprised when you win against Time Lords with Roids and Dual Trial. Just think, if we could go back in time and just make me lose that duel. Oh, Telemans, that was it. Yeah, that makes sense. Marfa. Where did you say that name? Oh, now I top deck you. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, I'd like to get two level fours out to summon um, probably the only card that could keep me in this door. But I can't. Instant contact summons a level six, I think it is. Yeah. Maybe I could just chuck it in defense and just hope they overextend like in Nibiru. Yeah, they don't know what I'm playing yet, so I'm just going to set that face down. Maybe put this face down as kind of like a bluff. You know, get them frightened or something. And then we'll end our turn there. They'll never expect it. <clears throat> the set two. Looking forward to Warhammer 40k Henry Cavill series. That's kind of cool. I have never played Warhammer. Um, I, I remember my cousin had some of the... The models. I don't think he ever painted them, though. I mean, maybe he painted, like, one or two of them. I don't know if he actually ever played them. But that seems cool. I'd probably watch that. If it's, if it's like, anybody can watch Warhammer and kind of understand what's happening. It's like... I, I remember going into a Warhammer shop. You know, and they have those, like, uh, terrains where you could, like, fight on and stuff. They look so cool. It's like when the old, like, Action Man commercials where they're always in, like, a desert environment or whatever with the toys. Always look sick. Respect the Mech Knight columns. Oh, sorry. Where did my monster go? I missed that. Oh, 
wait, I thought you banished face up. I've, I've just got that monster confused with some... I just got my, that monster confused with Fenrir. I see what's happened. <laughs> I see why I'm confused. They're really expensive. Yeah. Most things like that are... I remember when I found out well, how much like the... What's the, what's that Harry Potter castle? Hogwarts. Lego. It's like 700 quid, isn't it? Hogwarts. Lego. Castle. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. 350, 410 quid. Something along them lines. At 400 pounds. So the last time I played Yu-Gi-Oh! Physically was when the game was released in the States. Legend of Blue Eyes and Metal Raider. I then dropped the game. Played it again a couple of years uh, ago. I got heavy into Duel Links. Before Master Door was released. Is it plausible for me to get into Master Door? Okay, I'm going to throw some words at you and just I need to know your level of experience with them. You said you played Duel Links, but when did you play it though? So like, you obviously know Fusion. Do you know Synchro, Xyz, uh, Pendulum, and Link? Do you know what the extra monster zone is? Like, do the, you know the gist of them? You know kind of what they are? For me personally, like, I... I've lost. <laughs> uh, for me personally, I didn't play for a very long time. Uh, but I was watching the anime series, so I knew what the new mechanics were and everything. It took me a while to sort of... I guess, I guess, get used to them in a in a degree. In a degree, in, in a way. Uh, but it's, it's very learnable. I know all the summoning types, although I'm still... I'm super unfamiliar with Pendulum. But I know Link. I watched Reigns. Okay, I think you've got a good shot at getting into the game then. I think this is a great place to, to try and do it. I mean, when you start, you're going to get put into, like, bronze when you're playing ranked and everything. So you'll have an opportunity to uh, get good. But, I mean, like, if you start the game, just go straight into solo. There's a fantastic guide on YouTube called The Idiot's Guide to Yu-Gi-Oh! Mastel. It gives you a great uh, introduction on how to get the gems and everything ready so you can build whatever deck you want. Um, so I think... Go on solo, do some of the solo missions, get as get like 10,000 gems to start with. Um, go on something like Master Duel Meta. Pick out a, I would recommend a meta deck, but just pick one that you'd like the look of. So like, look at whatever's meta at the moment. So say that Branded is on there. You're like, okay, what's Branded? Watch a video of Branded, see what they're doing, kind of. Look at all the others. Uh, pick one of them, jump into Ranked. And sort of, when you start playing against people, you start learning what the meta is and what decks do and what cards do and everything. Um, yeah, I think you can have fun with that. And then you just need to make your own fun. The way I make my fun on this is by playing a different deck every month. And sometimes I play Vihikroids, which means I suffer for the whole month. So we have options. You live on YouTube. That's my favorite video, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Idiot's Guide to Master All, Beginner's Guide. It's a great video. The YouTuber that makes that video is uh, very good, I think. It seems like a good plan. What kind of money investment does Master require for a reasonably competitive card pool? Uh, you can play it free to play. I I've been playing this free to play for three years now. Um, yeah, you, you have to probably put in about an hour's worth of grind to start the game, but you'll get like tons of gems. Just make your deck and then every month, theoretically, you should be able to get enough gems it kind of hard at the start because you don't have all your staples. Like every deck wants Maxi. Well, most of the time, every deck wants like cards like Maxi, Ash Blossom, Call by the Grave, Cross Out Designator is just an example. Um, so that's kind of like the biggest grind you'll get trying to build those cards. But once you've got your core stuff, you can just start throwing that in decks and it's less stuff that you need to, to get. You could put some money into the game if you want to. Um, the only time I've ever put money into the game was uh, when I got invited to a tournament and I needed to make the deck ready for the tournament and I didn't have enough gems. So I put God knows how much it was in just to, to guarantee my deck. That's it. Okay, what are you cooking? Uh, I'm cooking Vihikroids. Uh They're suffering incarnate. As you can see, 20 wins, 5 lasses. It seemed to be. 
I think we changed the deck after this one. I think we've uh, we've suffered enough. You can make a new competitive deck about every six weeks by just playing for free. It's pretty rare at the moment. Turn up the stove. <laughs> yeah, it's not really cooking, is it? It's kind of just sitting there. Just don't make a blue eyes deck. Blue eyes isn't too bad. Um, we play our blue eyes deck turned into like a bestial, bestial dragon link deck, but it had blue eyes in. We were summoning blue eyes sometimes. We were mainly summoning jet dragon. It was uh, a shadow of blue eyes, but we did some stuff with it. Hey Sam, how you doing? I'm doing okay, thank you. Doing good. If you grind a lot like Sam, you can do it once a month. That's true as well. Like I do play this a lot. Uh, do you accept suggestions? I absolutely accept the suggestions for decks. Can't guarantee I'll play them. I kind of play things on a whim at the moment. I just decided to play Beer Croyd and now it's happened. If you get five wins with the oven at 200 degrees, just crank it up to 2000 degrees to get 50 wins. This makes sense. Foster's home for imaginary friends. <laughs> I understood that reference. That was blue. Little sock looking thing. Never made Gladiator Beasts. Blue Eyes gets me bricked every time. Wasted 12k gems on a Blue Eyes deck. Yeah. Ah, I'm not saying it's a great deck. But I've played Dark Magician. I've played Blue Eyes so far. I thought Blue Eyes felt better than Dark Magician, if I remember correctly. Um, even though Dark Magician have a great, like... They have one combo where they get, like, an invincible monster protected by an invincible spell or trap. That's quite good. Um, but blue eyes, you feel like you can do a little bit more of it, I guess. I'm excited to play red eyes and really suck it, suffer, but we ain't there yet. How many dead hands has this deck given you? Uh, yes. <laughs> Aha, real close. No, wait, they can't negate it. Yes, they can. No, they can't. No, if I get... Dra I need to get Dragonroid, use Dragonroid's second effect, sent to the graveyard, so the... My roid summons can't be interrupted. That actually helped me. Mix roid in the grave. Nice. I did that Nibiru earlier, though. I also need that power bond. Guy looked at my graveyard for what am I playing? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Why didn't he take my Mixeroid? Oh, because he's going to go for uh, Sprite Elf. Uh, no, I'll probably go for IP, right? No, Sprite Elf, IP. I guess. Have you done Fright Fur yet? No. Fright Fur is a priority deck, though, that I would like to play. I, I would really like to give um, Fright Fur a good try. Fright Fur and Ply the Predator Plants. You should not suffer alone, because my newest deck has no wins besides the one where my opponent had bad internet. Woofed. He was like, you roids, I'm not putting that on my field. Oh, thank you for my max C back. What blew, what blew it up then? Visa Starfrost. Uh, Sebastian, catch you later. Thank you for stopping by the stream. March of the Monarchs. Monarchs could be interesting. Is Monarch the one that has the Floodgate spell or trap? Like, if you have no cards in your extra deck, your opponent can't use effects or special summon or something? Or is that Dino... Not Dino Wrestler, what's it called? What did people always used to play in the um, the festivals that used to annoy everyone? I forgot their names. Catch you later, man. Oh, the monarchs erupt. Yeah. Can you check the bonus deck up to the game? Oh, no, my submarine ride. That's actually bad. We don't want that to happen. All right, so I've got to deal with... Stuff. Stuff and things. 
Oh, True Draco. That's the one. Thank you. True Draco Festivals. That's the one. Um, I have nothing. Um, activate fusion deployments. If I negate that, can I activate it again? Negate the activation. So that means I can activate another one because it was never activated. That's how that works, right? Was that not how it works? That is how that works. Okay, we bait with a different one now. And then they negate that with Barande Fleur. And then we use both of these. They'll never expect it. As long as he negates this one, I guess. Actually, no, he doesn't have to negate this one. No, he does need to negate this one. Because I need both of them to work. Mm, this monster doesn't need to be faced up on the field. It's got Royd in its name, so it's all good. Play Mechanko. No. Behold my steam gyroid. My mighty monster. Tell me why they didn't give this monster effect. Like ambulance rescue roid, it has the effect of ambulance roid and rescue roid rolled together. Why didn't they give steam gyroid like this monster once per turn can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. When this monster attacks, increase its attack by like 800. However, when it's attacked, decrease its attack by 800. Just something along them lines. We've very much lost this door. We've got one roid in the grave. That's right. Be scared of my monster. Mayor of Frown Town. Catch you later. Cool name, by the way. Last time I played uh, Master, I played Dragon Maids. Dragon Maids is a good, good shout. I like Dragon Maids. A cool archetype. They can be mixed with a few things as well. Fright for Feb. And Predator Plants in April because Earth Day is in April. I like how we look for things so they're like there's a theme to do with it. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. That many negates for a Roid deck? I guess if you don't know what your enemy can do, um, just stop it all. As a person currently playing Tillaments, getting this end board is not easy nor common. It's crazy, really. This was like a regular thing. Uh, peak Tillaments. Now, my question is, do they negate my effect with Brande Fleur? This, my little Express Roids effect. Do you do reckon? Oh. 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 I'm going to send their rule close, haven't they? Oh, no, they don't. Oh, that's my turn, then. Hello. Lappy Blood, welcome to the stream. Just in time to watch me. Hey, I got my submarine right back. Look at me. Right. Um, I'm going to put the loss on now because I can see the future. The fact that Steamroid, when it attacks, has more attack points than Steam Gyro is just sad. You know what? You're right. I never thought about that. Why didn't they just give it an effect? 
It's so daft. It's so stupid. It's such a badly designed archetype. I've never been this negative on an archetype before. It's just happening. Mudball man intensifies. At least I had 3k defense, you know? I would have made it too broken. <coughs> come on, kill me, come on. This field does nothing. There we go. Yes. Buy Express Roid. Buy Steam Gyroid. At least we got a fusion out, you know? How did it feel to start your first stream? Uh, it was hard. Like, as somebody with a pre-established audience coming to Twitch and starting streaming and stuff, like, it's, it's quite demotivating to start streaming and then you're streaming to, like, three or four people and things like that. It's a hard, like, grind, I think. That's why I think a lot of people give up for streaming very easily. And I kind of get why. Like, it's hard to maintain that kind of momentum when, you know, I, you, you feel like you're streaming to no one kind of thing. But, I mean, you, you build it up after a while. It's just you got to kind of keep on chugging along. I mean, not, for not everyone, but it's very important, I think, to um, do some things outside of Twitch to bring people to um, your Twitch streams. Probably the... I know you didn't ask anything to do with that, but <laughs> that's how I felt the first time I streamed. But uh, it is fun. It is fun streaming. Uh, it's something you do get used to. Do you plug sometimes your streams on YouTube? Not very often. I've started... Um, the way I do my end screens now on YouTube is when I'm finishing, I'm like... and uh, If you would like to watch me play with the archetype I've been talking about, you can click this link here and that'll take them to the VODs channel. And then if they're watching the VODs, they might want to watch the live stream. So that might encourage people to go to the Twitch. So that's that option. And then that's kind of all I do for that. But I don't really plug uh, my Twitch very much. I like it as a secret. Are you a full-time streamer? I'm not a full-time streamer, no. Uh, I only do three hours a stream, I think. And I stream on average three to four times a week. So it's just like part-time. part, part -time. Right. Roids need to be changed so cyrus played um cyrus played sorry zeus Yes. Yeah, I think we do actually go to uh speedruns. Let's just try that deck out for just a just a just a little bit. Just a just a smidgen. Like th that was the law. They Zane having a heart attack against that Jinzo duelist. He was like, Cyrus here, take my Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dart deck. And he's like, alright, Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dart deck, Broids. Smush them together. Oh no, Clockwork Knight! That was the whole point! Wait, how am I supposed to get Clockwork Knight though? That's, that's tough. I didn't draw any of those Cyber Dragons? Alright. This is probably our first win. I've actually got a decent hand. Ironically. Yeah, we'll put Super Poly in. We'll put um, Clockwork Knight in. I just forgot. Oh my god. We're going to draw like a million cards. Yes. Uh, I think once they do Speed Roid's effect, I mean, Nibiru Roid, and Nibiru Roid should get us the win. I mean, Maxi Roid is doing a lot of work here, but Nibiru Roid will be the, uh, the winner. Roid emotes went never. 
This is going to be the Bermuda Triangle of my life. Uh, January 2024 did not exist. Fortress Mega Fleet uh, used by Contact Fusion. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Ooh, this does count. These aren't individual summons, are they? I think they are. I think we're fine. Yeah, yeah, Junk Speed and Nibiru. That's, that's the play. So, one, two, three. Yes. I haven't played Galaxy Eyes. Um, oh, hey, hey. Behold! He's definitely going to scoop from Nibiru Roid. A million percent. A pop. Galaxy Eye July. Oh, that could be a thing. And that's when the Galaxy video could come out as well. July. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. That's ages away. Why are you playing this deck? Is this some kind of series? No. Um, I was in the 32nd dual event that was on this. I was playing with Malefics. Uh, we'd won like a ton of duels with them. So I just thought, let's just put something stupid together. Uh, and I thought I'll put the Roid deck together with the cards that I had. And then everyone in chat was like, this is a trash deck. Roid's a trash. And I was like, yep, yeah, they are. But I'll tell you what, if we win this duel, I'll play them in January. Because I've played every single one of, uh, I played Zane's two decks. This first January and second January. And the third January, I thought I'd play Cyrus's deck. So it all made sense. All the puzzle pieces came together. Cyrus is severely underrated. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> uh, and I just happened to play this. This deck, I'm going to play for probably like 10 days. It's not a series, no. It's not a masochist series, though this could... Public challenge. Make this deck good. So you win about. I win about with myself. This, Yeah, this was winning. <laughs> and this is my prize. I might get decked out. I didn't think about that. This patter still? Yeah. So this is how you know if the roids are bad. If I can't win with a 15 plus card hand, there's an issue. To be fair, we've got a lot of stuff we can make here. We can ready fusion. Uh power bond. Mm, do we want to do that though? I wouldn't mind another one. Oh, no, I wouldn't mind a Vicroy connection zone. I need the field spell for that, though. Oh, no. He's going to rip a card from my hand. <laughs> Sucks to be me. Yes. Nibiru Roid and Maxi Roid got us the win. Add that win on. Roid strong. Roid's very strong. Let's actually drop that down to two. And then clock work on two. I'd like to play three. Something's got to go, though. Something has got to go. I guess I don't need to. I don't need triple chicken game anymore because. Yes. There you go. This feels like fate or something. My opponent also. Oh, he also scooped. I thought you were going to say uh, they're also playing roids. Chat, if anybody catches a roid in the wild, ro a vehicroid player in the wild, please record it. Please save that replay. I see a, a few vehicroids that are holding the deck back. You do? Just a couple. Um, interesting. I have a decent play here. Say he does his turn, he doesn't put any interrupts on the field. Special summon Cyber Dragon, activate Megaroid City, use Megaroid City's effect, tribute that. Add Vehicleroid Connection Zone. Instant Contact, make the fusion. 
Activate Vicroid Connection Zone. Fuse Express Roid with a fusion. Make the Megaroid, who's immune to destruction and, and effect negation. Activate its effect. Choose one of his monsters. Nibiru the Primal Roid and Maxi Roid are good cards. They're actually really good cards. Like, it's crazy to think that those cards came from um, the Roid archetype, really, and people take it for granted. <laughs> I mean, Cyber, Cyber Dragon Roid, uh, probably not one of the better cards in the deck. Like, obviously, Zane played this, and Zane wasn't a very good duelist compared to Cyrus, so. Um, like, he would always play Power Bond wrong. And like win with it, whereas you should be playing it wrong when opponents have got like spellbinding circle set face down and stuff. So, <laughs> Maxi's a cockroach. Cock. Oh my god. <laughs> my wamo. Sam's vehicroid replay day, where we send him vehicroid replays. Yeah. Of winning though, winning though. We need to pump the deck up with step roids. We're still winning. People just can't. They knew. They knew. Seven wins. It's going to be 50 50 soon. Zane who? Never heard of him. That's what I mean. Cyrus Hoosdale? No, Zane Hoosdale. Zane's just trying to be good like Cyrus. Yeah. That's why. That's why. DNA transplant is a clockwork night backup. I mean, we could put that Samsara Dogma card in the deck. I think it's got a different name. Um, and the TCG, though. Oh my god, we've got it. It's perfect. I think we bait with the Dragonroid. Uh, come on, Maxi Roid, I believe. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Don't do it. I needed that so badly. Okay. He makes Terra Hurts. I special summon Cyber Dragon. He forgets that Mega Fleet Dragon exists. And I Mega Fleet. And then he uses his trap and gets rid of Mega Fleet. And then now I use Dragon Roid. No, because he'll rip a card from the hand. And then he'll negate it. Never mind. We've lost. For me, they ruined lore for Zane. No redemption arc. Going back to Cyber Dragons. Which is... It's weird because... Zane plays Cyber Dragons, beats Jaden. Zane plays Cyber Dragons, draws with Jaden. Zane plays Cyber Dragons, plays against uh, Aster Phoenix, loses. Goes on big loss streak in Pro Ring. Uh, goes to Underground Duelin. Abandons previous philosophy of respect and all that. I don't know if it's different in the uh, original Japanese, but... Decides to start dueling um, and always going for the win. No respect and everything. Picks up Cyber Dark deck. Duels with Cyber Dark deck and wins. I forget who his first duels are against, but like Atticus Rhodes. Um, he doesn't look like he's playing any Cyber Dragons at all in that deck. But I have to assume that he's got Cyber Darks and Cyber Dragons mixed together. But it does look like he's only playing Cyber Dark. Because uh, he plays that duel against Jesse Anderson. Uh, and I can't remember if he summoned any Cyber Dragons in that duel. I forget what he gets out in that one. And then obviously we get to the Ubel duel. And Zane only plays Cyber Dragon in that duel. We don't see a single Cyber Dark monster. Why? Because Cyber Dragons are actually a better archetype than Cyber Dark. But still. Um, and then when he's dueling against Makoto in the final season, he's playing Cyber Dragons mixed with Cyber Dark. So maybe that's kind of the redemption-ish thing there. He, start, he went... He got rid of Cyber Darks, and then he moved back to Cyber Dragons. And then in the final season, he's playing with Cyber Dragons and Cyber Darks together. And then Cyrus finally picks them up. He does get out Cyber End. Oh, he does? Then I don't know. They're, yeah, it's, it's not well thought out. I don't think... Does Cyber Dark Dragons even exist in the uh, the manga? Because I know he gets out things like Cyber Altana and everything. 
Never liked how they turned Zane from a respectable but powerful duelist to some edgelord that loves pain. Yeah, I didn't like that either. Does a Cyber Dragon Cyber Dark deck even work? Uh, yeah, it does work. We played a month bit. <laughs> Sam is deep in the roid hole. Freezing. My roids are giving me a give me a headache. They should make a monster called Hemmer. Hemorroid. Hemorroid and stare. Hemmer and steroid. I'm more the clear card types. So do I. I would love clear worlds uh, support. I don't know how good the field spell would be, though. Uh, it's got a maintenance cost as well, I think. At least like a thousand life points a turn. I feel like you need to re revamp clear world. Clear world field spell. All right. So let's pretend that they actually make the clear world monsters have no attribute, which means they're really good against like floodgate cards and cards that specify like attributes and stuff. So like we'll never have to worry about rivalry and Gozen ever again. Wait, actually, no, we will have to worry about uh, rivalry, just not Gozen. So we've got our field spell on the field. Okay, it's not that bad. During each of your end phases, pay 500 life points or destroy this card. Each player receives effect based on the monster attributes they control. So if the opponent's playing lights, uh, they play with their hand revealed. That's very strong. Dark, if you control two or more monsters, you cannot declare an attack. So this guy's got two dark monsters on the field now, so he wouldn't be able to attack. That's really good. Uh, Earth, during your standby phase, target one face-up defense with your monster control, destroy it. Kind of cool. Uh, water, during your end phase, discard a card. Very powerful. Uh, fire, during your end phase, take a thousand damage. That's good. And Wind, you must pay 500 life points to activate a spell card. That's insanely powerful. I guess, you could, I guess we could use that. That's fine, actually. Keep the field spell. 500 life points, but I think also 500 for their continuous spell. They have a continuous spell. Right. Right, right, right. I want to activate Clockwork Knight. Oh my god, wait. Um. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> no, it's not a Cyber Dragon. I can't set it face down. It won't work. If I set that face down, it won't work, will it? Ah, maybe I need to debate more. I don't know. I should have put in a fortress. I forgot. Not a fortress. What's his name? I don't think so. It's heartbreaking. Ripperoo. I'll be honest, I didn't know. I forgot about. I can't deal with dark fluid. Cyber will start a chain, I'm pretty sure. Just the act of summoning a monster to the field, I think. No, same won't work. There we go. I, I thought that would happen. That's a shame. I mean, the, old, the alternative was I don't play Clockwork Knights. I special summon Cyber Dragon State straight to the field. No, I guess they'd have used that to destroy it, though. Mm, 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 mm. I wish Cyburses were machines. <laughs> I power bond. By Cyber Dragon. By Clockwork Knights. At least uh, Clockwork Knight has an effect in the grave. What's he got? He's got an effect over here. Uh, 
how does the roid work deck work today uh, that's the great thing about it it doesn't Why isn't Dark Fluid here? That's where I needed it to be. What a shame. I can special summon Cyber Dragon back from the graveyard, but there's no point in doing it because he'll just negate it with Laplacian. So what we're going to do instead, which is what I kind of hoped to have done, was get rid of those two. Summon this out. What about Spheroid or Kaijuroid? Uh, I actually did try Spheroid. Um, I could play Spheroid. But because I was playing the Biruroid, I thought I'd play that over Spheroid. Uh, I'm just going to get slammed into and that's death. So it's 20, 21 losses. Appliances from vehicles to appliances. It's a short step. Might disconnect. <laughs> the Biru Roid. It's for the people that say, like, you can't play out of archetype cards in your sort of pure Roid deck. And I said, they're not, they're Roids. <laughs> totally. I was about to Google what Sphere Roid was, but I. <laughs> Everything's a roid. Whatever we play. I could put Fenrir in it. It's Fenriroid. Fenroid. They should make a roid based on a streamer and call it a, 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 a steroid with that like uh, Math Max Circular. I had a win streak going then. I didn't even notice. Fair play. I guess if I got power bond in the deck, I probably should be playing um, other stuff. Like a rampage. Chimera. Chimera tech is so good. Three monsters with different names. Oh, I guess I could make that. It's not a machine. I can't power bond it. Ignore me. That's quite the 53 card pile deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what we do. I think um, one Cyber Dragon, two Machine Monsters. That's playable. We could play that. We're going to cut two cards. I guess we get rid of one Mega Fleet. And one pair cycroid. That seems reasonable. But Guska's on the chopping block. I might really not actually have space for it. Add Kashtira Roid engine. Yeah. Fortune Fairy February. Oh. Fortune Lady Every. Oh, second, 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 second. Get rid of Knack and add emergency call. Cyber emergency. Oh, I've got Cyber Repair Plant. Which one's Emergency now? Oh, this... You know what? This has actually helped the deck. Power Bond. I can make uh, Cyber Eternity now. Um... Do I have Mac in the Fortress? I do, I do. You haven't played a Synchro deck yet? Sword Soul or anything? Mm. No, Max. Nah, we didn't draw Max Zeroid this time. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I nearly just clicked stop streaming. That was scary. Synchros in... Uh... I thought they were locked into Xyz. Is that not true? Yeah, he's locked into Xyz. I thought he was. I was going to say. Okay, so... Oh, no. Um... I think we special summon Cyber Dragon. We Mega Fleet the um, Shangri Ira away. And then we normal summon the Naxter to make it treated as a Cyber Dragon. Oh my god, we have options. Um, oh god, we've got a few things we can do actually. I think we're going to win. <laughs> ah, the Fenrir though. The Fenrir. Okay, so special summon Cyber Dragon. Um, no, the Jet Synchron is an issue. Let's just get rid of it. All right. Mega Fleet. I can make, uh, I can either go for my Roid boss monster. Probably the better route. Can't win with though. I've got 2400 attack. Oh, wait, no, I can't power on. Oh, no, yeah, because I got some minutes still. I really want to bring it. Activate this. Special summon. Cyber Dragon. He activates that. And it's just one of them. One, two, three. I still have three then. I lose 500 of it. That's fine. You can banish one of them. I mean, he might not banish anything. He might, though. He probably will. So, yeah, he didn't. Um... Oh, this is perfect. Um, so we activate. No, it's not perfect. Uh, no, wait, it, it is perfect. Uh, we activate Power Bond. And we make. Oh, I can't attack everything. No. Um. Yeah, I can't activate any monster effects. So I still banish. Um... Probably you. You're probably the safest bet. Cyber Dragon. Naxter. I can't use that. Can that be used as a fusion material? No. Never mind. So, we What's the criteria for Megaroid? A Roid fusion and a Roid... Oh, God. Battle. Oh, he might make Zeus. No Zeus. Oh, no, there's no fusion in the grave! Uh, you don't go to the grave, do you? During the end phase. Destroy during the end phase. And what's your criteria again? If you have a f machine fusion. That's fine. Um, ready fusion. What a waste. Someone is in defense. End phase. That will go to the grave. I'll also take a little sliver of damage. Yeah. Okay. There is a machine fusion in the graveyard. My eternity is protected from targeting. This doesn't target. This does target, sorry. Target. Perfect. What could go wrong? I have a 5600 50, attack point monster that can't be targeted by card effects and can't be destroyed by battle. We profit. And then what happens if this is destroyed? 
If this fusion summon card you control is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card, you can special summon one Cyber Dragon monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard this turn. You're... Okay. Where's limited removal when you need it? I oh, know. To be fair, if he gets a big enough monster, he could... Uh... Uh-oh. Is that a machine? It is. The guy does target. That's okay. So how would you out this board with Cash Tira? Arise Heart targets. Fenrir targets. Zeus. A good point. Oh, he might go for access code. Is that what's happening? He didn't. No, wait, that's not. Is that, is that what he's going for? Access code talker? Underworld goddess. No. You might be right. You can't link someone after an Aurora done. With one? With my Cyber Eternity Dragon Roid? No way! Mega Fleet Roid and Eternity Roid. Couldn't believe it. Oh, to be fair, he'll link during my turn though, won't he? Then we just attack, right? I'm sure we could attack something. Harload Savage. I do think we lose though. No, you have lost. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Shinderu? Not like this. What's this, Bron? 3 6 9. That is a Bron they flirt. No way. Chen Ying would get me. Chen Ying will get me good. He's not going for Chen Ying, thank God. Uh oh. Cupid pitch. Where's Cyberoid Infinity? Yeah. Eight. Is he going to make Magical Dragon? It's a very different deck. But. Oh, Aurora, no, I don't take any damage. If only you had a Nibiru Roid. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a mixed Roid in the graveyard. I, to be fair, it's machine monsters that works with mixed Roid. All right, ready for the horror battle phase. Oh my God, he let me go into the battle phase. Hoi hoi. Yes. <laughs> we won. <laughs> we won. Roids are so good. Eternity Roid is sick. I don't know why I never put it in the deck before. It wins. Uh, second, please. Cyberoids one? Yeah. With only Cydra. Now, we had some roids in there. I was going to go into the roid portion, but I determined that it was better to stick with the, the cyber portion for the time being. You know? Uh, if we get a fusion card, we can make a uh, Megaroid. Mixeroid was in the graveyard, so yeah, roids weren't. Yeah, we had we had Mixeroid in the grave. We could have gone into a pair Psychroid. We could have gone into a pair Psychroid as well, actually. This is how Cyrus feels after season four. He's like, wait, this is what a good deck feels like being splashed together with the roids? My goodness. Mmm, Brandon might be a little bit of a problem. 
I'll see how it goes. Please go down to 50 cards. 53 is madness. I gotta cut. What three cards would I cut? I need it all. Why 50? Make it 60. That's a fair point. I'll never get decked out by um, Runic again. 60 card branded open. Yeah, branded always do well. I don't know how they do it. Fauna February. Could play some Aroma or Blood Plants. I, I regret not playing a bit of Aroma during the, uh, the 2024 Lifepoint event. I don't like that. Go 60, run Grass for Mixeroid. Is Grass is Greener an ultra rare card? That's the, the, the limiting factor, unfortunately. I can't afford it right now. Okay, Grass is an ultra rare. It's a bit too expensive for me, I'm sorry. It's also limited to one. I'm sure I'd pull that. I've, I've played against decks, 60 card decks, and somehow they top deck. Uh, grass is greener. Aroma did get some support recently, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they got some more extra deck monsters. They got a, a synchro version of um, Jasmine, I think. The, the little one. The small one. The one that's got a Link version, I think. Made three limited removals. I did. What, you're, what are you saying? I should put three limiters in. Let's build a spirit deck. You're gonna have to test that madness. What do you think is the worst archetype in the game, by the way? I think Vehicroid is up there as a contender, but I think if I had to give like a worst archetype. I saw some people throw out like War Rock, and I didn't I didn't think they were that bad. Like I've never played with them, but. I would say uh, Ally of Justice is very bad. Ally of Justice is probably one of the worst decks I've ever played. But I guess if you ever play against a, a light deck or whatever they specialize against. No, Chem Critter ain't that bad. I like Chem Critters. They're not good, but like I like them. Should one of your use one of your mods' favorite decks? Raid Raptors. Pure, but put Arc Rebellion in. For February, since it's the birth month, points itself. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way, next month, uh, Phoenix. Hope you have a great day if, uh, if you're busy. Arcane of, Force is, Arcane of Force is pretty bad. I think I'm going to agree with you, Delta Banane. I think um, I think Guardians are probably one of the worst archetypes ever made. Like, they were made weird, and then they had some of their cards banned, and then the, the card that's supposed to be printed which moves the equipped spells onto other monsters so you can get it onto the cards they're supposed to be equipped to, uh, isn't even in the game. So I would say they're one of, if not the worst deck, Guardians. Gagagigo deck. Backup Garden, that's the one. Try out Emergency instead of Naxter. Cyber Emergency. I forgot what the card does. Is that the one I need a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard to activate? Oh no, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll play that. Add one Light Machine monster that cannot be normal or summoned or set. Or one Cyber Dragon monster from your deck to your hand. Negated by your opponent's kind of effect. Since graveyard, you discard one card, add to Yes, I will add that then. Cyber Emergency would be good. Um, I, I, the, I forgot that Cyber Dragons had a Searcher card. The only one I can think of was Cyber Repair Plant, and that needs a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. There's an archetype of only three cards. I forgot its name. I mean, Clear World only has three. It's Clear World. Clear, oh, no, that's two. Clear World and Clear Vice Dragon. Someone, I saw somebody throw out uh, Tin Dangle. Um, I never actually played Tin Dangle. I always thought they were kind of cool, but I never gave them a chance. So I actually don't know if they're any bad. I don't know. Machinaroid. Oh yeah, Emergency is a Cyber Dragon card, not a Drytron Searcher. 
I saw some dude cook with Tindangles. That's what I like to hear. Sam, I saw your video on dual discs again. Did you did your ideas change? Do you think we will get some in the future? Um nah, I don't think so. The the technology isn't there. Unless it was like some sort of VR thing or uh, you know what? VR headset nowadays, like the MetaQuest 3 or whatever, the, the most recent one. And like uh, a dual disc that you could put the cards on and then you could see everything. You know what? There, there is a small chance of it. I, I can see it. I don't think Konami would ever do it. Um, I, there probably isn't enough value in it for them. Uh, not that they would do it even if there probably was value for them or anything. But it's an interesting idea, I think. Would have been cool. Oh boy. Mm. Cloudians, yeah. Cloudians do have an OTK though. Oh dear. Excuse me. VR is just the first step to Zexel's VR. Got ya. Tired of seeing branded. It's popular. Dragon Roy is your own version of branded lost. Yeah. I don't really know what to do here. Um, I need to, I, like I need instant contact, but I think I need to get rid of it. It's like my only spell. Oh dear. That's game. Oh no. Uh, I'll take the L. That's a shame. With the repair plant, you could have searched for the kaiju roid. That's true. <laughs> so I've got you from fifty three to fifty two. So I met you somewhere in the middle. Itsu is the worst archetype. Oh, that's um, Itsu, Doitsu, and whatever it's called. Those, like, color-coded people, whatever it is. The Parodius series. Took an airplane you send you and still got a W. Oh, this is perfect. What if Chaz dueled against... Um, that's not Chaz's monster. 
Okay, we got arm dragon coming at us. Okay. What if Chaz dueled against Cyrus? YouTuber rated every single archetype recently. That was on the bottom of the list. What was on the bottom? Uh, Itsu. Where did they put Vehicroid? Number nine, Vehicroid. What do you do, monster? What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, Dragon Ruler. Ooh, easy Baron. I love when Chaz summoned Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms. Yeah, then he normal summoned his Ash Blossom and then overlaid the... Overlaid. Tune the two together to make Bron de Fleur. Wait, Chaz never dueled against Cyrus? No, he didn't. But it's happening right now. Um, I might need to get rid of their Negate with Nibiru. Not that I have a play next turn anyway. <laughs> Um, emergency add cyber dragon special summon cyber dragon normal summon submarine roid attack attack oh no I can't attack I should be playing um, Jizakiru Kaiju Roid, shouldn't I? Because then I can just special summon Cyber Dragon and profit. Do we go negate this? Oof. Nah, I don't think he will. Because <laughs> it has a negate clause. I can be negated. I thought it was like a... Oh. I don't know what to do. I can't even bait Baron's ability. You have to wait a whole year for Dino December. Dan all might. It would be nice to summon uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno though. By Submarine Roid. Oh no, he's going for... Okay. If he goes for anything other than uh, a Baron again. Do you think he... All you need to do, summon a submarine roid. Profit. Bottom of diamond is a bit wacky, right? That's the power of submarine roid. Do 800 damage? Easy. Easy, easy. We might actually be able to climb. We're only two wins away. He's just standing there. Menacingly. King Nobody TV. Could be live right now. Well, he's beating a tier zero deck. Oh. So let's send out Max Seroid. Ah. Oh, that's fair, that's fine. He's got his brand new fusion. Unbreakable board to be honest with you. I had to scoop. Yeah, it's it's good etiquette to scoop against um, defense position submarine roid. It saves like dragging the duel out, especially when you know you've got game as well. It was good sportsmanship of him. 
Try being in silver like me. It's wacky. <laughs> the only thing I miss about the lower tiers is the variety of the spice of life. But I guess that's only fair. I leave for a few minutes. You start winning games. Did I add that win? I did. I did. Chibi Gohan, get you later. Have a good day. What's the dragon pass? If I can do a can, just make some gimmicky fun decks and play in the lower tiers. It can be done. Yes. Fusion summon. Give me more. Yum, yum, yum. He's not going to fusion somebody unless he's already got branded opening. He's not going to fuse, is he? Honestly, for a Roy deck, nine wins versus 22 losses, it doesn't even look that bad. Nah. One was a surrender. Quite a few of them were uh, just surrenders, to be honest with you. You can just fuse during your turn. Brandy got the support now. There we go. Got one draw. Decent draw as well. So all I'm looking for here is for them not to summon Mirror Jade and for me to summon uh, to draw a fusion card. I can actually make a play with that. What stuff do you wish you knew about content creation when you started out? Um... I guess probably earlier on, I probably could have made better quality content. I kind of just churned it out. But that's kind of what you do when you start. You just try and put as many videos out as possible. So. I don't know. I wish I, wish I picked a better name for the channel. I feel like I'm locking myself into it. Just the, the TGS anime would have been not... Like, I don't think I can get away with just TGS, especially with the Tokyo Game Show as well. That's probably the big one. Future-proof the name. You can summon Albaz this turn to fuse with your field. Not on my watch. Actually, you probably can. A Cyrus deck? It is. Hot of roids. Before roids were even a thing. I know. Best roid support that was part of. Was he going to make Masquerade? Oh, <laughs> Guggenhall. Roy's Law is just Cars movie 1, 2, and 3. I never watched Cars 2. I like Cars 1. And Cars 3 was okay. What I need to do is summon Magician Souls, get rid of Fusion Deployment. Touch the bike for good luck. Bring, bring. Bring, 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 bring. Uh, I think they're making a masquerade now. Which I actually can't get over. Cars free is wild. But they're playing the laws too much. I'm remembering the Cars movies. Ah, oh, Cars 1 was alright. Cars 3 was interesting because it was like, it was after his glory days are done. Like all the young cars are all like clapping him. So he tries to push himself too far, like crashes. And he trains up. Uh, I think he, I think it's, he's trying to get trained up. But then he ends up training up the, the young car trainee kind of thing. Uh, 
I don't need that right now. I'm just playing roids, bro. I didn't even see him send the puppet to the grave. Is he going to fuse a bit as well? <laughs> Can we ban gimmick puppet of strings? But what about the gimmick puppet players? I don't care about the gimmick puppet players. They can lose their strings. Right, this worked last time. Right, let's see if it works again. Normal summon submarine roid. Battle phase. Attack directly. Take away 10% of his life points. Effect of submarine roid. Switch it into defense. Main phase two. End phase. How rude. He gave you a gift and he took it back. And have just used Ra's Disciple Sanctifier as the problem. Yeah. Let's ban Ra uh, Ra's Disciple as well. But what about the Winged Dragon of Ra players? Screw the Ring Dragon of Ra players. No one gets a floodgate. Yeah, Sanctifier is the problem. Now I think about it, there's probably a lot of other decks that lock you into stuff when they're summoned. So probably should all go. It's not getting banned anytime soon. You'd think with 20 plus years of experience, they'd stop making cards that just do insane things. Like to this level. I should just ban Elvio Brandy. No, <laughs> Hey, Mira. Mm -hmm. So there's no way he's confused with that. Has he got enough attack? Yeah, he does. <laughs> I feel like I'm slowly learning a lesson about vehicle roids. And I don't think I like what it's turning out to be. 23 losses. I think there's been more. I think I've just been uh, missing out on them. Just look at this win-loss ratio. Karibroid. We've got too much going on with the deck. Way too much. <laughs> what does the deck do when you draw the perfect hand? The perfect hand would be me going second, my opponent not having a single interrupt. Or the only interrupt they have is destruction and they save it for my boss monsters. The perfect play would be I special summon Super Vehicleroid Mobile Base in defense. No, in attack with the field spell in face up as well. I use Mobile Base's ability and let's just say I don't get the next best monster stealth union. Let's say I get uh, let's say I get Jumbo Drill or even Steam Gyroid or something. I enter my battle phase. I attack with this. I swap its attack of its defense to give it 5,000 attack. I attack them directly or destroy their monster. They maybe attempt to try and destroy it. However, what they didn't realize was that I use Vehicroid Connection Zone, which prevents my monster's destruction. So we profit. And then we attack with our Steam Gyroid and we don't win because we didn't do enough damage. That is our best case. Add limiter removal. Sure. 55 card deck now. Can we have a few games of pure Cyber Dragon? <laughs> Cyber Dark Chimera and World to search Power Bond. I guess Cyber Dark Chimera would work. Uh, and which one's World now? I 
did put Rampage in, didn't I? Can Roy's use the adventure engine? Uh, they probably could. Let's see why not. Cyberdark so World is the searcher. Which one's Cyberdark so World? Oh, Realm. Cyberdark so Realm. That's the, the one that lets you double summon Cyberdark so monsters or something. Let me have a look. I did play a Cyberdark deck. It's just all gone out of my head. Cyberdark so Realm. Yes. Good card. What's the criteria for Rampage? Two plus Cyber Dragon monsters. Oh, it has to be Cyber Dragon. Can't use Mixeroid. I hate his deck. Oh. Yeah, everything's... Yeah, Roids have a lot of cards. The bulk of them don't do a lot to really help win it all. And then the ones that are big and strong are way too hard to get out. I wonder what happens if I just play a deck of... It's literally just all the materials for um, Super Vehicleroid Stealth Union. And then I just play three power bond, three polymerization, three Vicroy connection zone. And then like the law of averages states we should get it eventually. I would love to special summon Cyber Dragon and steal this monster, but I can't. Because if they interrupt it, then I'm screwed. Why not? Um, because then I want me able to do um, my power bond into rampage, which is what I really want to do. This is the only monster I really want to make. I mean, I guess I could have gone into Mega Fleet, but Mega Fleet wouldn't have had any protection because there's no fusions in the grave. People can be so cruel. <sighs> I've lost. There's no there's no protection on the rampage, so although I technically do have game on the board, which is actually kind of surprising. Um, they're going to special summon the one that pops my monster. Then again, maybe they didn't get it because of Max C. Oh my god, I'm the, I'm the monster with the lowest defense. <laughs> it's my own fault. <laughs> god. <laughs> nice. Roids are so shit. Alright, you won. Well done. I'm happy for you. Well done. Hello. How are you doing today? Undying Usagi. Hello, hello. The Predator Plant Link card. No, because Power Bond isn't a fusion or polymerization card, and Vehicroid Connection Zone is also not one. So I need to play. Um, something else. I need to play like actual polymerization. That was a Cyber Dragon problem, not a Roid one. That's true. That's true. That was also me not remembering what the other card did. Even though I knew I'd lose. Where's my Toxic Roids? We never, uh, we never tried those. Where's that? Oh, the the Slow Roids. I forgot about these. 
Slow Roid. Triple Future Fusion. I think what we do is we play Triple Future Fusion for the, the Barbaroid, right? Best Floodgate Roid? There's not enough Floodgates, I don't think. But maybe we could try and do one. Oh, uh, no. I know what you're thinking of. Hold on. You know what's... Where's Toxic Roids? Toxic Roid. There we go. There we go. Uh, this didn't actually work how I thought it would work. Um, you can't actually boost the attack of Submarine Roid. It does original damage. But you can boost uh, Parasycroid. That's kind of cute. Kind of cool. I think this is the one we play Triple Future Fusion in. Like that. You know what I mean? Oh, but then we need to get rid of Super Poly. That sucks, but it's fine. And then... Then we get rid of Pot Duality. I need to play more roids. More roids. Mowa. Keep the Entus. Mm, two of them. One of that. No Mega Fleet. Can't make it. Barbaroid. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's a super rare. Gross. I mean, I can't summon it though. That's the problem. We're only playing machines, right? Um, what is it? Gozen or is it Rivalry? It's Rival. Yes. Drop a... Sh drop a Witch's Strike. Two of them's fine. Yeah, Master should have a refund policy if you make, like, the insane decision to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven roids. Yes. We're actually going first deck now. Floodgate Roid? If Floodgate Roid turns out to be the way to play Roids, then that voice clip that says, what do you do, you play Floodgates, that apparently is the right way to play. It makes any deck good. This is so hilariously tragic. Toon Roids? If this works, this is uh, the next stream. Okay, this is fine. Oh no, we didn't go first. No, this would have been great going first. Dragon Link. Can't play around now. My scoop. I feel like we really need to win the coin flip for this. What can I top deck? Oh no, we can we can top deck Cyber Dragon. Oh, that's not good enough. So this is the villain arc. What if Cyrus turned evil? What if Cyrus was the one to lose against? Asked of Phoenix, he went to the underground facility and he discovered the Darkroids. Wait, there is actually a real Darkroid, isn't there? Dark Gyroid. <laughs> Top deck Super Poly into Five Headed Dragon. Ironically, I do have Five Headed Dragon right there, but I just took out Super Polymerization for Future Fusion. That's hilarious. Okay, they won. Good for them. Happy for them. Sorry, kisses. But 
I need to go first. I need to win this coin flip. Super Poly over Future Fusion. Yes. Okay, this is what we're after. I'll go first. Time to lose 10 coins. No, we got it straight away. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, uh, he's like, oh, the servant to uh, the Spring King. No, why do we have a going second hand now? How has this happened? No, why are you doing this? Set. Set. End phase. Well, that's a trash start. Never mind. That's not a good hand. No, it's not. Literally like 50 million trap cards in the deck. They give you all Cyber Dragons. I guess because I've got like a going second play in here. I think I think we get rid of Cyber Dragon and... I guess we could keep Clockwork Knight in just for the attack boost and to turn all their monsters into machines. Third time's the charmer. <laughs> Kashtira Zodiac. Nice. What if Cyrus used steroids? Dun dun dun. Scoop it up. Usagi, thank you. Uh, I can draw one card if I've put... Um... Yeah, I did. I put Garuru in. I put limited removal in. Um... Machina floodgates. Yeah. Apparently, um, these actually work quite well under Skill Drain because of Mixeroid. Like, because Mixeroid can tribute itself off the field, and it plays around Skill Drain, I think. Oh, yeah. Branded opening. Hmm. Have you thought about rank 10 train roids? No. We can make a rank 10 monster. We can actually make two if we get out our boss monster. As long as we're not locked into fusions with all of the fusion lock-in cards. It's an asteroid. Uh, Masquerade, that is comment of the day, by the way. That's amazing. <laughs> well done. That, yeah, that did deserve uh, being pinned. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Give them VIP. We can't just give VIP, VIP out to people because they'll make a good pun. Can't be doing that. Haha, <laughs> he has to banish his Maricoria. I'm not sitting on a ton of options here. I f I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Um, it's too much like recursion for me. I don't wanna. I'm gonna start with Dillum in this as well. Uh. Use that effect, I think. And 
Mantis. Stimpak is also a roid. Stimpak's increased the attack of a monster by like 700, but then decreased its attack every turn by 200 or something, isn't it? <laughs> I have to, like, have to top deck Clockwork Knights, or else it's uh, it's GG. It's over. It's game. Sorry, Mixeroid. Uh, do they have Thingy in the graveyard? You watch me top that clockwork night, and then he puts a gimmick puppet of strings on my side of the field. Just to upset me. It's gonna happen. You can't spell Sam without M, and that is why you're playing this deck this month. M? Can't spell Sam without M, okay? And that is why you're playing this deck this month. I don't get it. <laughs> like, M for, M for Masochist? Okay. Oh, wait, I can normal summon my uh, Cyber Dragon. Oh, we're fine. Look, Future Fusion? M is for Machines. Right, let's uh, let's tribute that gimmick puppet. Summon this. Exodia Roid. Oh, you know what? I do actually need to play. I need to play an, uh, a win condition deck. You know, like um, a special victory condition. Because that's the only thing I don't have. Um, the challenge for. It's like my only challenge left. So I think probably one of the months this month, we're going to have to either play like a Destiny board, Exodia. Um, that Leo monster. I have to pick something. Right, all I need to do is survive t two turns now and we should be fine. You know what I'm going to do instead, actually? I'm going to quit. <laughs> it's time for Ghost Tricks. Oh yeah, Ghost Tricks have one as well. I don't know about that one. Special win condition for roids. Pity. Look at my win losses again. Let's remind myself. Yep. Okay. I think what we do is we take out the cyber dragons because they're clearly not working. Uh, I think we leave in the clockwork knights. I like clockwork knights. Just play Goki. Should I just make a, a deck of Barry statues? We could play Card Demise. Oh, yeah, before it, before it goes away. Does Clockwork Knight clash with rivalry? It might do, actually. That's a good point. Um, to be fair, what are the chances of me having those two at the same time? Impossible. No way, no way. To 
speed roids. Musical sumo dice game. Oh, <laughs> that's the one that moves stuff clockwise. Yeah, we could do that as a win con. Um. Put Future Fusion to 1. Because it's not good. It's too slow. No, we'll put it to 2 because I want to play it. We'll put in 2 copies of Super Poly because that's the right thing to do. And then... I'll put 2 more roids in. Mixeroid is not doing a lot for me right now. Put one of them in. What's some good super poly things? Um, what else can I play? What are we playing against? We're playing against like Cyburst decks a lot. We're playing against... We're playing quite a lot of dark decks. Oh yeah, Mud Dragon, good this save worm. Oh, ultra rare. One Cybus. That would have been a good one as well. Mud Dragon. Isn't there, there another Mud Dragon now? Oh no, it's a ritual, okay. Super jumbo draw for the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> starving Venom. We got Starving. Oh no, we don't have Starving. Sorry, I didn't put it in. Oh yeah, it's not a uh, Predator Plants. Earth Golem, thank you. Yeah, that's a good shout. That's a Cyburst, isn't it? Uh, I think we've run out now. That's probably everything. Borrow Load Furious. Borrow Load. Ah, uh, ultra unlucky. Two dark monsters, though. That would have been a good shout. Guardian Chimera. No, I don't think we can. Three monsters for different names, but fusion between using only fusion materials from your hand and field. So, no, we can't make it. We've only got Super Poly in. Mm, got space for two more. Maybe like a... Uh... Guska and a Zeus, just to, to round it out. <laughs> How is any Roid monster more than a rare? It's insane, right? Why would they do this? Can you vote for Super Poly? You can. Uh, King Dead Sea, how's it going? Yo, what's up, Sam? I uh, love your YouTube. What deck are we playing? We're playing Vehicroids, um, which we've played them for two days now, and they've done so terrible. One of the worst decks I've ever played. So we're now trying to make them work with um, a few spells and traps. 
Which is oh god, I wish I went first. Well, would we have done a lot? What would Witch's Strike have done? I feel like we need we need more traps in the deck. I think Clockwork Knight is a bust. <laughs> Witch's Strike is terrible, by the way. Yeah, it is. Uh, I know. <laughs> it's good if it works. It just doesn't work. Won't Clockwork Knight screw this deck over? How so? Oh, because of... Um... We've lost this duel. See, you know how I know it's not going well? Because I know if I don't go first, I lose. And that's not a good deck. Yeah, Clockwork Knight is dead. Or is it? Out, out, out. That can be only one. Oh, yeah. There can. We'll leave it at one because that's what it's like nowadays. Evenly. <laughs> oh god, I broke the game with my deck. <laughs> Not good. System down. Oh, system down with clockwork knights. Doesn't there can be only one cook us too? Ow, we just set on one monster. With one monster with the equip spell on, and we should be fine. Actually, maybe it does cook us, actually. I don't even know how we win. There we go. Look at this. My one copy of Evenly not coming in quite handy here. But... Oh, no, we lost the coin flip. I thought we won. This is fine. This is a fine hand. There's hope. Super polymerization. I mean, we could class that as a Roid card. His best friend played that card. Moon Mirror Shield Roid. Pot of Desires Roid. Evenly Roid. Dogmatical Roid. Gravity Bind and level limit area B. Yeah, Submarine Roid's my win card. We just attack 10 times with it. That's how we win. And then we get two on the field, and we make a uh, pair Psychroid, and we equip it with Moon Mirror Shield, and we profit. There is no wing con. There is no wing con in Barsing Sea. This is not good. Can I fuse any of this? Garuro, what's your uh, criteria again? a rock. Can't fuse with that. Two monsters, same attribute, different types. Two monsters, same type, different attributes. Worm, psychic, rock. Imagine Cyrus using Super Poly in the anime. It's crazy. It's all the what if scenario. Cyrus stalled against Astard, lost, went on a, a winning streak for some reason, learned to become evil, absorbed the cyber dark roids, the, sorry, the, the roid, the dark roids, um, actually dueled against um, Jaden when he was the Supreme King, actually beat Jaden while he was the Supreme King, took his super polymerization, spat on him, <laughs> and then he dueled uh, Ubel and won. Wait, one night evenly. It's too late now. A 
I forgot to evenly. I will admit, I forgot. Sam froze. Maybe I wanted to attack, you know? Uh, no, it's okay. Too late for Maxi? No! I've got no more special summons. Hi, deck. Ooh. Beautiful. Look at this mighty field. <laughs> Battle da. First of all, my Starving Venom Fusion Roid attacks your Kashtira Fenrir. Has the Baker Roid deck made you punch your desk yet? No, but it's made me very frustrated. And then my Submarine Roid. But that's not all. Submarine Roid has a very special ability. It switches self-defense after it attacks. But I'm still not done. I'll move into my main phase two. I'll equip my Moon Mirror Shield onto... My best monster, of course, Submarine Roid. And then I'll set a one, a two. Could have got 2,800 damage there. Oh, God, yeah, you're right. I could have. Okay. Technically, you're right. But it's fine. Your opponent's so confused. The submarine roid beatdown. Everybody knows this. This just destroys monsters, right? Right? Okay, we're okay. If they enter damage to your opponent, then you can destroy all monsters in the field. Killed my roid. It's... Imagine logging into Mastodon and walking away from it, wondering how you just lost the roids. Well, luckily for this person, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but... Moon mirror shield on the bottom of the deck. I've got no more plays. Venom doesn't pop because the trap protects. You're kidding me, right? Why? Vanquish soul monster you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. And he did what? How much damage did he do to me? Eighteen hundred. What? It's still my turn. Yeah, if you if you lose against roids, something's wrong with your deck. What do you destroy again? Do you destroy one of a card on the field? I actually don't mind if he hits one of my um, dogmaticas. I've got two of them, so. I can live with that. It's a cool monster, I will admit. Come on, don't hit Solemn. To be fair, it's the one, this is the one that looks weird. Like, these two are on the ends. This one's in the middle. Maybe that's the one you go for. Thank God. No, that's, that's my plays. I can Entis that. But he'll dodge. Oh, we have to wait till the battle phase if my cards survive. If GX was released today, Cyrus would play Rescue Ace, not Roids. That seems lore accurate. I feel like I agree. Yeah. I guess, um, like, Felonious Viper would play Ogdoadic instead.
You can chain punishment to Borger to prevent the summon and not get dodged. Oh, man. Sounds like I need to know stuff. Oh, God, I didn't read. Oh, well. <laughs> Play Exodia FTK this year. I, I probably will need to. I'm gonna get burned to death, right? That's how I that's how I die. What do I do? Do I do it now? Screw it. Oh, I see. We miss time in and they stay, they pull it away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think toxic roids work. <laughs> Where's it evenly? Give us a dopamine rush of a Cyber Dragon game. What do you mean? Like, um... Like, just go, like, change deck or something. And then look for my Cyber Dragon deck. Like, click on it. Select it. This is a bit old, to be honest with you. Like, I haven't played with this in ages. What are you saying? You think I should just start? Want some poutine? Poutine would help. That would be nice. Where would I place Veacroids if I was to rate them from tier 0 to F tier? Uh, I'd put them in F tier. But Sh Seanix is right there. Yeah, they could go in a lower tier. One of the worst archetypes I've ever played. Ew. We have a uh, Machine Dupe Hurts here. Oh, we have some decent stuff as well. It's a shame if they get out uh, a Rise Heart. That's an issue. Hmm. How silly of you sound to accidentally queue with the wrong deck. Oh, yes. How silly of me. Oh, I picked the wrong True's Tales deck. I was meant to go Cyrus, not Zane. I'm sure there can't be that much of a difference between the two decks. Oh, we're playing Vanquish Soul again. Uh, it'll be nice to Harpy's Feather Duster, that trap card. And Crystal mixed with Kashtira. No, Fenrir normally plays with it, but yeah, I haven't seen him with... I guess that makes sense. They could do that. Pressured Planet. Like They'll, be, they'll keep playing Fenrir until probably stops going at two. Does it take Arcana Force's Throne as the worst deck? I'd have to play with Arcana Force. We should do that, like... Worst deck year. Month, year. month one, we play uh, Roids. Month two, uh, Guardians. Month three, Arcana Force. Month four, War Rock. I don't know. Whatever people don't rate. Ooh, that's a lot of back row. Sam, always summon in front of an occupied zone. Against, yeah, just in case they summon Burgor. I can prend it. That's going to be an amazing lightning storm, by the way. Uh, 
What's your start first with the back row? <laughs> what is the roid status of the deck from 1 to 10? What does the 1 to 10 scale mean? Like, 1 is really bad, 10 is really good. 1, we've won like no duels 10 we've won a lot of duels because the answer to all those questions is one how roided up is it <laughs> it's yeah it's the hemorrhoid deck <laughs> oh no wait they've protected all their monsters this is a waste of a card isn't it i've just i've only just learned this card's second ability Monsters you control cannot be destroyed. Also, Vanquish soul monsters cannot be destroyed. That's just called Vanquisher, though. That's oh, he's just choosing whether to use that. Okay. You can pop the link. The link doesn't count. Okay, at least we got rid of its effect, I guess. I think we Galaxy Soldier dump the Hurts. Hurts has a discard ability, doesn't it? This guy sent to the graveyard. You can add one other Cyber Dragon monster from your deck to or graveyard to your hand. Okay. We got plays, and then we can bring it back with Rev System. And. Maybe Profit. Oh, no. We're going to get mashed up by Fenrir, though. Mm. See how this goes. I mean, Fenrir might not banish me, you know? That'll get me. That's the one I need the most, I guess. Actually, do I need that one the most? There goes the Fenrir. He doesn't want me getting an infinity out. Normal and machine dupe. I mean, we could have done that. It might have been the... I forgot that we have XC's monsters, to be honest with you. We still have them. Ooh, Droll. This is fine. Discard that. Special summon. Rev system. To be fair, if he destroys one of these and we don't get to use the machine dupe, we're kind of screwed here. Oh, these are machines, are they? No. It's too much. I've been had. I needed to use duplication. Duplication would have got me two more Cyber Dragons from my deck. And then I could have made um, a Nova Infinity. Um, the Link Monster. I could have really popped off. Oh my god, they made a mistake. How could they not have predicted the machine duplication in hand? <laughs> yes. Come, my Cyber Dragons. Oh, they can't pop it because of Ref System? Ref System has another effect. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Whoa! Didn't know that. Oh. They don't have more... This is a bounce, isn't it? No. I think we're okay. Vanquish Soul, man. They do a lot. It's a machine? Oh. oh, I can't Mega Fleet. Why? Matt Cheen. Cyber Dragon. Oh, it's because Fortress. That's why. Hold on, let me just... Uh-huh. Nice. <gasps> 
I misclicked that then. Come to me. Hitotsu ni. Become one with my infinity. <laughs> Delicious. Battle. We also anima right. Nah, I can't do both. It's a shame. Now, I get one negate. That's one negate. Or I could have a big Zeus. Hmm. Please don't make that sound again. Which one? The the suction noise? Is a mad love and a Fenrir? Oh. The Zeus probably was the right answer then. Because we, we could have Zeus twice. Ah. That's it. Two of my favorite roid monsters in the field. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, here they go. I remember the first time I saw Infinity. I remember when something like Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, and I hadn't played in ages, and I just knew that there was a new Cyber Dragon card or something. I remember thinking how broken this card was. I was like, there's no way it can like negate an ability every turn, and suction monsters to itself. It's so broken. It's so strong. It's so easy to summon. And then like fast forward several years later, and you play it now, it's like. Phew, one Omni Negate. It can only suck up attack position monsters. PU. Now I do like Infinity. I I really do. It's just it's surprising how you can change your opinion. It's like uh, maybe it's not as broken as I once thought it was. I guess the Roids got taken out. No, this is this is a Roid deck. No, oh, no. It took 1.5 streams for this deck to become a cyber dragon. I just misclicked. Um, I forgot which Truesdale we were playing as. Is Vanquish... Yeah, Diamond's only three decks. Diamond is... Um, branded Vanquish Soul. I haven't, we haven't seen any Pirelli today. No Pirelli. And Dragon Link. That's the third one. Ironically, we still lost with Zane's deck. Oh, and Math Mech. Yeah, Math Mech, Math Mech. And Cash Tier. And Cash Tier, yeah. Very easy to get the Truesdales mixed up. They look so similar as well. Wonderscraft. Is that GG? It's very close to GG. Angry Soul was hard. Um. Oh, he already attacked. I was like, wait. <laughs> what? I wonder how I'd make a Cyber Dragon deck now. Like, this is from ages ago. I haven't updated it since two years. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I've probably updated it a little bit. It's probably had some stuff to mess with. Big hand. Wait, this banishes from grave, doesn't it? Ah, oh, that would have been great. It's a shame it's going to get destroyed before I can use its effect to banish two cards from my grave.
Your defensive use gets destroyed, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I can't add like cyberload fu cyberload fusion. No, they need to be banished. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Mm. This does have an effect. Like he's triggered my other ability. If this card is destroyed, add a cyber spell or trap from your deck to your hand. But we needed to banish some stuff with it um, for cyberload fusion to work. <laughs> for once, it actually worked out quite well. <laughs> Uh, unless he has an Ash Blossom. Uh. Face up banished. Mm, no good. Add a Light Machine Monster from your deck to your hand. Target one Light Machine Monster in your graveyard. Shuffle into the deck. Add one Light Machine Monster. It can't become some of the sets. Search this card. Discard one card. Add this card to your hand. I guess maybe we can try and go for a core. I think they're gonna have, they must have an Ash Blossom somewhere in there. Normal summon this. Bring back Cyber Dragon? Infinity. Infinity, try and absorb a monster. Take a core. God, this is hard. Um... That might even be my only chance, to be honest with you. We can make a Mega Fleet. No. No. We should have gone for uh, Core. With the power of hindsight, I didn't know they played Bastille's Thrones of you. Oh, probably shouldn't have summoned it in a uh, Ryzen zone, but we're losing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're okay. No, we're not okay. <laughs> Look, we were losing either way. I shouldn't have done that. That was silly. I didn't think about it, but we were taking the L. Regardless. I thought there was a chance when the cyber load. Oh, we needed stuff banished. JK January. Play a trash deck for a day. Pivot to a... Oh, just kidding, January. Play a trash deck for a day. Pivot to a slightly related but more playable deck. <laughs> roids into Cyber Dragons. Ancient Gears into Scrap. Oh, you thought you were playing Roids? Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to count that as a Roid loss. Because I ain't counting it as a Cyber Dragon loss. I'm telling you right now. That's like a 33% win-loss ratio, I think, with this deck. And I keep forgetting to record the, the win-losses. All right. Um, closing thoughts. I don't like Roid. I don't know how to make them work. I don't think they can work. They're in serious need of a, a complete rework. They need their main deck monsters being called Vehicroid monsters to help just synergize the deck a little bit more. They need more extra deck monsters. They need um, easier summoning conditions for the monsters in the extra monster zones and stuff. I don't know. It's so bad. But yeah, uh, that was the Roids for another day. I think I've got one more day in me uh, so far with Roids. So I'll give them one more day. 
Invoked roids. Well, I, I'll look into. I'll write it down. Look. Invoked roid. Machina. Roid. And I'll try those two. All right. Um, they need a link one that does everything for them. Yes, yes they do. They need some link monsters. Um, come back to this video or this vod when uh, Konami produces more vehicroid monsters. And they're good. But for the time being. Uh, thank you for watching everybody. You've been all been awesome. Uh, there'll be a Vehicroid archetype review video on Monday on the main channel. So look forward to that. Um, I'll probably pop back up on Monday, I think. Uh, for stream. And we'll probably play in our last day of Roids. Unless they somehow meticulous, miraculously get like 10 wins in a row. Alright. Catch you later everyone. Thank you very much for joining the stream. Have a nice day. Bye guys.